say the line, Joe. I was singing it today as a treat. We'll we'll get to the third line and see what she says after that. Not Resident Evil 4 first. How about this? If it's if it's another perverted weeb line after that, then we'll play Resident Evil 4 first, okay? But if it's not, then we're good to go for Tuesday. Like if the next line is, oh, even my underwear, or or you know, like any variation of that, then maybe it's you know, we'll delay it. Uh, I just want you weebs to know that the uh, 13 Sentinel spoiler chat is now open, and it was open for over three hours last night before anyone noticed that they could chat in it. I timed it. Plan to finish Pizza Tower, next time we have a Philly stream, yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. Should we watch the actual opening, too? Just as a little teaser? You know what? Let's do it. Let's watch the actual opening. No audio? We mean no sound. Okay, good. All right. It's landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kisumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. Oh no, not Ashitaba City. Evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Oh. Wait, what? What is she doing? Why is she lifting her skirt up? You don't get it, Joe. All of the 13 Sentinels have a special part of the body that was assigned by the story gods, and whenever they want to get into their mech, all they have to do is just swipe it. And it just so happens that the schoolgirl is on her upper thigh, and she has to fucking lift up her fucking skirt in order to get it. All the all the the men have it on like their wrist or their cheek or something. It's really happening. Just okay, said. just as you said. Okay, cool. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. <laughs> so we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Who's this voice actor? Sounds familiar. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Is that why it's called Aegis Rim? Because it's uh, it's based on Pacific Rim? All right, here we go. We're gonna hear the third line. Are we excited? Here we go. Am I inside the robot? What the, where did my clothes go? Warning, Dino signature Aww. enemy in range. What does she say next? My voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. All right. Okay. It wasn't. It wasn't perverted, stupid shit. Well, it was kind of stupid, but all right. Okay. All right. Also, I got Gravity Rush two. So at the end of Gravity Rush one, I think we'll play Gravity Rush two for five minutes, and we'll see what um what the graphical upgrade is like. Why did she lift up her skirt? I don't understand. Haven't played Gravity Rush two yet. I'll have to skip those streams. Well, you have time. Like we're not going to stream it right away. It's I think it's going to probably be after Resident Evil 4 even. So you you have, you know, quite a bit of time. How long is 13 Sentinels? It's going to be at least a week, right? Or is it actually a, a short pace game? Let's see. 13 Sentinels. How long to beat? Uh 25 to 30 hours. Fuck. Really? Or uh, oh. That's like a Danganronpa. Holy shit. That's almost like 3 hours for every Sentinel. All right, so if I hit the button, if I move this up right now, we should get fan art. We didn't. There we go. We have fan art. Oh no! My bookmarks. One second. All right, there we go. Clip it quick. There's nothing bad there. It's just, I'd rather not have them on there. I think, to show you how little I use my bookmarks, I think the, uh, the, is it there? I think the, um, the air purifier someone linked to me is on there too. There's a couple of books I want to get. Um... Yeah, the air purifier is on there. A link to the to the fan art, and uh, I think a Sudoku is on there. Anti -fight. Yeah, I want to get that book. I don't know if it's good or not. No porn. No porn. No. Did you set up the emu? I did not know. <coughs> <coughs> so this is by Maddie. Three stream, three fan art showcases in a row, led by Maddie. What's going on, Maddie? You do it on purpose. This is gorgeous. So that's Bikoi. That's Snail. 
that's elf and saxophone. That's dragon. That's joms. I hope I'm right now. Bye, Maddie. Wish I could read. I can't stick emoji in here. So uh, the translation is east dog. Oh, it is joms. West shell. South elephant. North feet. <laughs> that's gorgeous. God damn. Very much like a, a mural, Maddie. I really like the expressions on all of them. Really cool. The elephant, elephant saxophone, like, could be like an enemy in like Neo or something. That's really cool. Dragon has um, three pairs of arms. Oh, I wish I had three pairs of arms. How much coffee could I drink if I had three pairs of arms? Thank you, Maddie. This is by Sam. We conservative make the list we begin. <laughs> Keep cream pure. Oh, don't be a weeb, Joe. Hypno space hipster. I love trolley with the flannel on. Nice. Wheel <laughs> says <laughs> says wheel. Eric sex. Eric two sex two. Bomb trolley undo. Not not even pretending that there's a real option on there. Nice. Wheel, 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 wheel. You know what? Maybe whenever I'm on I'm on break, I should put the wheel up. And I wonder if that'll counteract people who leave when there's a break. Cause whenever we put the wheel up, like people show up. Maybe I should put the wheel as the thumbnail of every stream. Cause I'm telling you, people see the wheel and they're like, oh my God, wheel, here we go. Thank you, Sam. Ah, yes, the three genders. <laughs> Stick to super auto pads, whoa. All right, who's this? This is by Paddle and it's Patch Chan and Eric. All right, we've decided this is Eric apparently. The normal ass person I think was from, uh, from Gravity Rush in the background who I expected the comeback. Maybe they did and, we, and they were so normal we barely even saw them. That's Eric, that's Patch Chan. That's a cool design actually. I like the hat, Patch Chan. You know what, I quite, maybe this is me getting older. Like I quite like the shirt and suspenders look. Like not just on girls, but on, on like on men. I, I would like to have that kind of look. I kind of like the shirt and suspenders look. Maybe I'm gonna try, try doing that. It's weird because when I was a kid, that was considered like ancient fashion. You're just like, oh, such an old man. And now it's like, oh, that's kind of cool again, for me at least. Fun design, I like it. A private investigator specializing on game breaking glitches, 20 kilobyte sized with a, <laughs> with a four gigabyte attitude. I'm sorry, are you, are you pitch, pitching a show right now? It's Patch Chan with her partner, Eric. It's just fucking Eric. What do you mean this is her partner? It's, it, it's just Eric. Congrats to Paddle to being the first person to give us uh, give uh, this dude fan art. I checked for 20 seconds. Also by Paddle, she's out there somewhere. I know it. Yeah, I believe you. Sure. Right now they're hot on the trail of the elusive Breaker Chan and her recent escapades on Deadly Premonition. What is this? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Except it's fucking Breaker Chan. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Eric is spinning. Uh, Forest Cryptid Green Veil Accident Institute. BC in the coffee. Oh, break a chain in the coffee. S FPS 60 to 30. Why? Who's a yeah? <laughs> UFO, the trolley in the sky. This is great. There's so many fun details here. He's completing the game too quickly. Take the shot. Visor store and ooh, it's it's a fan artist crossover. Take the shot in more ways than one. Keep your pants on, Iori Fuyusaka. Is that her name? It's still marking. <laughs> okay. Keep <laughs> okay, however, because it's still in March, shouldn't it be keep your pants off, Iori Fuyusaka? Because of the opening, there's no pants. Eh? That's a really good line. I like that a lot. She needs to get clothes to get naked. That's true. Yeah, she was wearing clothes at the beginning. Now, now that we've seen the, more of the opening, it's it's definitely uh, definitely there. I like this design a lot. This is this is this is good. Take take the shot. Keep your pants on. Crash is ordered uh, by the Keep 13 Sentinels out of out of March committee. It's mildly terrifying, and impressive to see fan art from someone and then watch the store and expand on it within an hour. Banger art and even file name too. Almost April means it was an April PNG. <laughs> you know what? Fan art's making some good points here about keeping it out of uh, keeping it out of March. You know who's this by? This is by Paddle. All right. Hey, I didn't download a 20 gigabyte patch. What the hell is is uh, this ripoff? Wait, stop! I'll cap you. I'll cap your head with a 20 kilobyte bullet and we'll see how you like it. Th <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Not 13 sentinels. The application is not responding. This program may respond again if you wait. Do you want to end this process? Holy shit, I'm deed. She doesn't mess around. Is this the most 
bloodthirsty Chan? Some of the Chans are capable of violence, don't get me wrong, but has there ever been a Chan that has been so, like, gung-ho about it and just jumps to it? God damn. She really does have a 4 gigabyte uh, attitude. 13 Sentinels in May. Oh, it's being pushed back even more, this time for sure. It's what's inside that counts. Detectives are currently cleaning up what counts of Joe as we speak. Oh, the elephant guy in here? So these are the elephant proposals from, um, from, from Anu. So this is version one, and it would be shrunk down to emote size. And here's the second one. Seeing as the others edited it, posted their elephants with saxophones, here's my take from the original quickly made edit. Zach, did you know that, that since a saxophone has a single reed, it's actually a woodwind instrument? It's a very confusing classification, where the literal words of the term are different to... And here's the one with, um, with the brass saxophone. I think... I think now I'm no artist so you know if everyone disagrees I'm fine with that I think a combination of the two would look the best with the brass with the pink purple the basic saxophone elephant is hard to top in my honest opinion possibly it, it does have some a lot of charm in its simplicity but you know an emote just because we have the emote doesn't mean that people can't also do that one and they can be mixed together Anyway, so just to, just to reiterate, I've had two other fan artists or emote artists contact me saying that they want to be a part of the elephant saxophone war. If you would like to be a part of it, um, you have probably until the end of the weekend to, to get a DM to me and put your hat in the ring. If you've already posted something somewhere, then you also need to DM me so I know that you're a part of the, the competition and we'll see. Okay? And then we will... You, you'll get... Like, I will pay everyone for their emote no matter what, even if we even if we don't use it, and then we will see, like, um, we'll see which one everyone likes better, okay? So, you know, DM me, and uh, we'll talk shop, okay? Yes, I drew this exclusively in purple because I was think thinking around with around with the values, but I included a quick color, ver color version, sorry, color conversion, so you guys get the actual idea. Oh, that reminds me, Zach. Did you know the story of Princess Tutu was thought of while whilst the creator Ikuko... I, I, I'm sorry, I can't, sometimes, I think I've gotten better at pronouncing Japanese names, but I, I, to, I don't know. Ito was listening to a radio of classical music as a little girl in Genius Sack. Music is such an interesting topic and integral to media as a whole. We should watch it again sometime. Speaking of anime, I'm drifting into Yusuke with, um, with York's voice. Ito? Whoa! By Merrick. Thank you, Vixit. I've always wanted an excuse to do this. Thank you, Vixit. I've always wanted an excuse for Merrick to do this. With this character's yassification, I don't know that word, but I'm going to Google it. The thread of canon is severed. Restore save. <laughs> All right, I see what you did here. Restore a save game to restore uh, the, the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you have created. Okay, yassification. Yassification. Yassification is giving someone or something a glow up or makeover. For example, if you took a photo of Tom Hanks and photoshopped it to give him makeup and a really fashionable outfit, someone would say, you yassified Tom Hanks. All right. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. All right. Is uh, Trolley Chan blonde here now, Merrick? Or is it just like, um, uh, like, I don't know the term for when, when a picture is like washed out to white colors. Yassified. <laughs> would it actually be grayscale or would it be something else? If it was grayscale, wouldn't it be like her, her? If she was brunette and it was grayscale, wouldn't her hair be gray instead of monochromatic? Even again, if it was monochromatic what, and her hair was dark, wouldn't her hair be dark? Search for Gyaru again. I'm seeing a lot of art in this uh, in this art, Merrick. Let's see: one instance, two instance, three, arguably four, five, and six. I'm seeing a lot of instances of art in this art. Well done. Oh, the little the little moons on the uh, on the bikini. Nice, nice. Every time Merrick uploads fan art seconds before the stream, I gun to my PC as fast as possible. Worth unrelated. Hey chat, do you want more fan art like this from Merrick? I hear he's looking for an excuse to do stuff like that. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Hey? What the K? Hey, what the fuck? Man, I really like Charlie Chan. I'm surprised. I think Fido's still my favorite, but I really do like uh, I really do like Charlie Chan. Anyway, thank you, fan artists. Um, I think that's all of the pre-stream stuff. Um, I just want to say again that I had a lot of fun yesterday. I also read through. Why did I turn my monitor off? Oh, because I don't need it today. Because we're on we're on the uh, we're on the PlayStation. I also read through some of Dragon Sen yesterday, and I don't know if this means anything from me, but I'm gonna say it anyway because you know I thought I thought it was kind of it was nice. Um, seeing a lot of people post their fan art throughout throughout the streams yesterday um, was very nostalgic. It was very sweet. 
um, it was it was amazing to see everyone's art again and go take a trip down memory lane through through all of that. Um, but I also got to say that um, there's there's a few of you that have really improved as well, and you're already good. So to see that improvement like through through the years and years of fan art was um, was really cool. It was, so I hope that you're proud of yourselves when you were going through it and looking at it. You know, like it's like oh look look how how far you've come. You know what I mean? And it was already a really good starting position too. So um, yeah. I'm a little uncomfortable, so let's let's just say that and leave it as it is. But yeah, well done. Don't know if this has been asked a lot recently, but are you interested in playing Ghost Trick Report when it comes out in a couple months? Is it a couple months away? Um, I'm interested in playing Ghost Trick, but I don't know if I'm going to play it right at release. Yeah, uh, it hasn't been asked that much now, so don't worry about it. All right, Gravity Rush. So we're I think we're going to finish today, and then we'll check out Gravity Rush 2 for maybe like 10 minutes just to see how the visuals are upgraded. Um, how do we play this game again? We have to go to... Oh, there's lots and lots, lots of people to talk to. Okay. Remove 100 mil from race. I can't do that until we have to rest until we restart it. But don't worry, I'll remember, or someone will remind me. <laughs> this village was waiting for us when we fell down here. Somebody must have lived here long ago. That would explain the ancient ruin. You mean the ark? There used to be another one like that that flew around the sky, but it's gone now. I wonder what happened to it. Really, it flew. That the people lived there and had technology like that. I bet the ark used to fly too. Sasha said so. She used to play around the ark a lot before she went away. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to remove the 100 million without refunding the points. So you guys are probably going to get another refund. But I'll be the last time I ever do uh, 100 million off. So, you know, enjoy your refund. Joe, I stalked your messages on Dragon's Den from yesterday and all you talked about was Genshin. I'm curious. I've spoken Genshin Den a little bit. Um, thank you for stalking. Why would you do that? Um, I'm having a lot of trouble getting back into the game. I think I might drop it again. I've only played it for maybe three hours. I just basically got all the all the checkpoints in Sumeru, and I did the Spiral Abyss. I, with my old team, I six starred floor twelve. Um, I was ten seconds off three stars on chamber one. I was twenty seconds off chamber two, and I was like over a minute off on chamber three uh, because the the wee nut was um, just insanely tanky. So I don't know how to you know do better at that with my old team. I guess maybe I have to get better. There's more better artifacts now. I don't know, I'm finding it very hard to get back into the game. Like it's it's uh even the exploration lure is kind of like like eh. Like the also the big problem is that I didn't even finish Inazuma because what, even back when I was playing it before I quit I was just basically lo for like the last three four months I was I was just logging in and doing the dailies and that was it. Whenever I had to do a quest for to unlock um and a and a one of the limited time like weekly special event things I was annoyed because I didn't want to do the quests it was just full full on maintenance mode and now I have to go back and do that too so I don't know it's kind of kind of uh, tedious there's a part of me that's like I'd rather just restart again and just know it's all fresh and then go through the whole thing and I know that doesn't make any sense but that's how I feel if there was a village like this way down under the city, maybe there's another village way up above the city. Yeah, it's true. Hmm, you know, now you mention it, that wouldn't be so strange. I wonder what it's like way up there. I'll bet they got really cool buildings, not like this place. The first thing I remember is falling down to Hexville. Could that mean? Dendro is great. Well, I don't I don't know, because the only Dendro character I have is the free one. And she's a pain in the ass to level up. And her um her E is kind of shit. It's just like a little boomerang thing. It's like, yeah, whatever. I also remembered very quickly how bad artifact grinding is a door oh yeah i do have the dendro main character yeah i do i did get that a door that has to be a door raven what leave me alone i'm busy cyanie is kind of weird she's always either sleeping or staring off into space talking to herself well everyone's different right maybe it's just a phase i don't know as long as i can remember wait why can't i remember her on the bus hmm, hmm. oh oh interesting another thing that kind of pisses me off about it and this is probably a, a skill issue or a team issue um Whatever those, uh, what are the guys in the abyss that are, have an element and when you get them down to like 20% of their life, they go like charge up and now you have to get through an elemental shield. Heralds, yeah, the heralds. So something that really bothers me, and again, maybe this is a skill issue or maybe it's just a bad design issue or maybe it's just a team comp issue. The water ones, I go up against the water ones and I have, I, I'm going in there with Eula, Fischl, Diona and uh, Kazuo, okay? I have two motherfucking cryos on my team and I still take like like forever, like a year to get through those two hydro shields because their uh, cryo application is just so fucking shit, you know? Even though I have the right kind of kind of elements to, to counter it, um, because they're the way their skills work, it just feels kind of shit. It's like, oh yeah, you got hard countered because, you know, the way that their ease apply. 
maybe need more consistent cry yeah but then i get into like, like i have to now like change my team just for that floor i guess it's fine i leveled up ganyu a little bit so maybe i could just take ganyu in there they're not a good cry yeah that's what i mean yeah i know they're not a good cry applicator and that's why it's 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 shit so it's like oh i have cryo but you know they're they're bad at it so just like lol bring someone else needs to be more flexible i guess dendro rips through hydro hero oh does dendro rip through everything cat what exactly is raven up to hmm, why what's wrong I don't know it's like she's searching for something in the ark yeah maybe she wants this something inside that she wants to find inside it what are you talking about there is no inside if there was there'd be a door or window or something right what if we like gravity around it <sighs> and everyone's favorite thank you massive penis for gifting out a sub to the community babe wake up massive penis community uh gift sub just dropped oh you know what it does kind of like Okay, so if you turn around, it slows you down a little bit. But if you if you turn, you keep going while you turn. I don't know if it's a perfect conservation of momentum, but it does seem to work quite well. Cyania, what are you doing up there all by yourself? Cyania, what's wrong? Answer me. Are you sleepwalking or something? Oh, she's evil, Cyania. <laughs> Honestly, the way she's dressed makes me think that she has, like, a, a gravity rush animal, too. Hey, snap out of it. She's not breathing. Oh, no. She can't be. Did I... What? Cyania. The girl you know is Cyania Slumbers. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there are things you can see with your eyes and things you can see, you see with your mind. Cat, if you just open your mind... Yes? You'll find a way to save the children. You must awaken the power that sleeps inside. Cyania, what the heck are you? Look deep into my eyes. I think Cyania is fucking with us. That's creepy. Memories of another world. Oh, huh? Where am I? Is it power up time? The creator, Cyania, assembled this world from fragments of your subconscious. Oh, so there is more than one creator. Face your forgotten memories to awaken the lost power of the rest within you. How's the sound, by the way? We good? What are you talking about? Sign is a creator too. Is she like Gade? All, all will be revealed in time. For now, you must cross the river of forgetfulness alone without the help of your shifting guide. Well, they just love taking the powers away. Yeah, this sounds good. Okay, I will await your awakening on the other side. Do not be afraid of the truth. Should I be afraid? <laughs> Done. This place contains your reality, past, present, future. Alright, so I can't I can't grab onto ledges without the power or was I just a little off? Who are you? Playtest area? Oh, can you make a level of your playtest area? Sarath, what are you here? New area just dropped. You were weak. Oh, sh oh, okay. All right. Oh, for f All right. That one was a skill issue. The other two were trolled. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Now we're good. R Yay! All right. Too soon. Oh, it wasn't too soon. Thank you, Eticus, for gifting out a sub too. Special thanks to Eticus for not having a name that's that sounds like I'm saying genitalia. <laughs> Yo, dickhead, where is the Witcher 3 video? I've delayed it to piss you off specifically. Is it working? Seems like it. I'm not reading anything that they're saying right now. Sorry. Something about the truth will set you free. Oh, okay. So we jump on it and we ride it up. All right. Tricky. Okay, do we ride that? We do ride that one up. Okay. What is this for? This makes us go down, but we already we can already go down. That's already the orientation of gravity. What's that all about? Was I on that one before? That's where we started. We started like sideways on that one. That makes sense. Okay. I kind of like this. This is interesting. 
It's a bit slow to get around, though. You fell. The truth concerned those around you. Your innocence was your end. Oh, we can climb for it, for it stirred them into action. Yeah, this way. I lose um I lose track of where we are when uh, it changes the camera when I fall into this thing. Shared the blame for what befell you befell your world. The truth was painful, so you set your memories on the river of forgetfulness, something like that. You will die. The end is inescapable. Your enemies, your allies, your city, your gods will all die. This is a boss room. Nope. Okay, so we have to get up to the top one, which we probably get by going over there. All right, so there's gonna be one hidden in a block in a, in a block somewhere. Getting some uh, Elden Ring music vibes. Did you all see yesterday? They they buffed slow big slow weapons again. Damn! Even more buffs for slow big weapons in Elden Ring. Oh, I can climb. Never mind. For real, for real. They also added ray tracing, which just sounds like a complete disaster. Why would you add ray tracing to a game that, you know, barely ran as it was? Like, I love Elden Ring, but the performance is kind of, you know, eh. It's the killer, do not die. I love that line. I don't know why. Okay, so can we just, like... No, we can't jump up to it. We have to go for this one. Are just not even good ray tracing? The stuff it ray traces is whatever, no reflections, for example. Um, I saw some, like, uh, side-by-sides of it, and it just looked like the time of day was changing when they turned it on. It was like, oh, yeah. Like, was it activated, or was the sun just moving? You will die. Uh-oh. You will die. Everyone fights against the end from the moment of birth. Oh, you just mean we're all gonna die of old age? Okay. They set their feet down on the ground to move forward and paw at the infinite with little fingers. There is no need to run from the truth. Open your eyes. The time has come, and so have I. If you seek understanding, turn around and return to where you came from. A castle? Is that where the truth is? Oh, we're a princess! We're not a gravity queen at all! We're a gravity princess! What just happened? The world is a dream! Sinea's dream! You and everything in it are just crystallized pigments of her imagination! Knock that off. Did you just try to hypnotize me? Would you put my water? While Sinea sleeps, I shall protect the dreamer and the world she spins to life! Alright, so why do people, different people think that she's like, their creators? You keep talking like Sinea is someone else. Hey, who are you supposed to be? Another creator? I am a dream guardian. I keep Sinea anchored in the realm between dreams and reality. This is crazy, I think you even managed to top Gade. You have learned to see with your mind's eye. You can find the entrance to the Ark, and together with Raven, you can save the children. Open your mind and see. Hmm. Wait, I see something. Oh, more gems! 
What you see has always been there, only now your mind has opened to see it. Shifter, your destiny awaits. A power has been granted, so you may protect the dream. Ah? Uh? Cat, was I sleeping? In my dream, someone said you should go to the Ark. All right. I met another creator. This one slept within Cynia. First Gade, then Cynia. I kept running into people who claimed to have created worlds. I couldn't sort fact from fiction, but what I did know was that I had been given a very special power. Okay, so were these gems here the whole time? Could I have picked them up before? If, if this was a Kojima game, you would have been able to. I can't wait for yet another YouTuber to say you're bad at ER because you made your video before Colossal Weapons got buffed three times. Another YouTuber? I don't know if people are saying that. There was a YouTube comment I got which I felt kind of missed the point, but I was happy that, that they said it because it sounded like they had fun with the game. So, you know, that's really all that matters. They said something like, you know, like, I I, I thought Joe had a point and then I decided to do a Colossal Weapon run myself and I had I had a lot of fun because I had so much, um, I had so much uh, damage from my weapons that I was able to just like tank hits and hit trade with the boss and get through it. And I'm like, okay, Okay, so like, dude, like you had fun, but that wasn't the point, you know? <laughs> like, of course you could do that. I did that too. Like, like, like what? the whole point was that you you can't really do it um, that well without hit trading. That was that was the whole point, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> A lot of gems now. God damn. Do we even need them? What are marbles? I'm kind of new here. Um, do zoomers know what marbles actually are? Like. Is, is that a is that a boomer thing like obviously I'm, I'm i'm taking your question to mean like what are marbles within the context of of the uh of the stream but do, do zoomers know marbles are a real physical thing you can get like <laughs> like do, do kids these days grow up having marbles I, I my kids don't have marbles because uh we still have very very young children and it's a choking hazard but um yeah anyway within the context of the stream marbles are um part of the, well they're they're part of the uh the stream heritage because we use marbles to decide some games in the past but uh marble race is also going to be to get me to watch an anime and if you get a million monocoins which is an absurd amount don't get me wrong um you can buy a marble that has an anime and then you can put that into the race and then when everyone has started the races by paying even more monocoins um we will race to see what anime that i'm gonna watch if my marble lose, so I get one million back. Um, no, but like, why would you want your monocoins back? The only thing you can do with your monocoins is buy marbles to start the race. That's all they're for. For the second, this is not going to be a second race. What's second race for Weave Absolution? How can you get? How could you ever buy Weave Absolution after spending a million coins on a marble? Damn, there are a lot of these now. Holy crap! I mean. I know like getting these isn't exactly the most fun thing to do, but it's like it's a lot of gems. If weeb is weeb absolution even useful if I just continue being a weeb, uh, weeb afterwards? Well, that's your choice. It's like buying weeb absolution really works because you could have you could have bought some anime marbles to support your favorite anime, and instead you chose to be like, look, I don't want to be be a weeb anymore. I'm trying to turn a corner. If after that you're like, all right, I'm not a weeb anymore. Time to weeb. Then you know that's your choice if you want to become a weeb uh, right away again. Uh, you cannot buy a marble to- you cannot, uh, pay coins to remove a marble. No, I think that would be kind of toxic. Maybe as we get closer to the races, you can buy bomb marbles. That might be fun. And I'll even put names of the chatters that bought the bomb marble on it, so... That might be fun. Eric marbles? <laughs> Two million monocoins to buy a novelty marble. What will the marble race track look like? It'll be probably a whole stream. We'll we'll like have an elimination round. We'll we'll make it an event. It's not going to be like oh we're going to do an race. Maybe I'll see about getting some uh, some tracks made specifically for it. Like we'll we'll make a day of it. It'll be fun. Like the voting game races. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. Are there any more? Oh, there's some over there too. What if no marbles win? Well, a marble has to win. Like the way we set up the race. Like there has to be a winner. What if Eric wins? I don't think we're going to have the the capability of a novelty marble winning. Just like. A novelty marble disruption or an upset maybe but not not an actual winner it's never gonna start i mean you don't have to say it who the hell are you in theory you could suddenly disappear again and oh it's him and reappear somewhere else your perception of time seems to differ that on my own Oh, uh, yeah, about that. It's actually been a while since we last spoke. Is that so? From my perspective, it's impossible to perceive such a phenomenon. I must be quite the curiosity from your point of view. Yeah, it's a little weird. You're gone one second, then the next, then the next, then they're the next. We keep meeting in the strangest places, too. Hmm. It would appear my attempts to artificially produce gravitational energy ga gave a Risei to a dense gravitational field that warps space-time. Perhaps if artificial gravitational energy and warping off, uh, and warping off, and warping of space-time, that must have been quite an experiment. Was oh, that our dad? Oh, gone. 
How come you left Factorio on the game tier list, but Fa Dark Souls got shoved into the unfinished belt? Because I've never finished Dark Souls Remastered. I Oh, have I? When I replayed Dark Souls for the Elden Ring video, was it Dark Souls Remastered I played? Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, anyway, on the tier list, it was specifically Dark Souls Remastered. I can't remember. You rank Forspoken even though it's unfinished? Yeah, because like with the games that we're currently playing, Gravity Rush and Forspoken, it felt more like I can, you know, because we're going to finish them, I have a pretty good sense for them and where they stand right now. Hey, it was a pretty fast and loose list, all right? Thank you, Pepperjack444, for the resub. How come your resub says subscribe for six months instead of resubscribe for six months? Is it because you were subscribed before and now you resub now and that's what it's like? It's like a new a new coming back sub? Is that the, why that is? Hmm. Cyania, how did you get all the way over here anyway? What is it? Was it the creator or the Dream Guardian's power? I've never been subscribed before. Oh, you just bought six months worth all at once? Oh, holy crap. All right, so that, that oh, you know what? That's, I think that's worth, well, okay. Welcome, welcome to the Dragon's Den. Welcome to the Cringe Cafe. Thank you, thank you for boarding the, the submarine and taking the plunge. <laughs> welcome to the Rub-A-Dub Sub Club. Uh, Clawfist. What, what's what's the other one that we have? Should we do the train one again? Should we do the train one again? Welcome to the waifu warehouse. There you go. Next person who subs gets the train. Now now you have to sub. Who who wants who wants the train? Uh, Creator Dream Guardian. I have no idea what you're talking about, Cat. I just wake up in strange places sometimes. Never mind. We should get back to the others. I'll take you back, back me to the Ark. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cat. The winter wyverns. Yep, it is winter. The springtime salamanders. The summer slizzards. Have you seen how some Jazz members won't acknowledge your new tier list because it conflicts with what you said at, uh, at the end of some streams? Very funny. Well, like, okay, anyone who says this sort of stuff, you have to remember that it's pretty rare I will give a game 5 out of 5. Like, so, like, but a lot of games got 5 out of 5 in, in that stream because that was the top tier, you know? Like, so just, like, don't really focus on, like, the actual numerical scores. Those, those were just the categories. Like, instead, you could just replace with, like, five great, then good, then, you know, decent, then eh, and then bad. And there you go. And, that, and that's where they all go in, you know? Bingo 9099 um, resubscribed with the message. I'm reading your message. I saved my resub announcement just for such occasion, Shimano. All right. All right. Oh, there's a couple. All right. You know what? A train can have multiple people boarding at once. Thank you, Bingo. Thank you, Winter Mavis. And thank you, uh, Monterego or Monterago for the new sub. Thank you for buying your tickets to the subway train. All aboard. Choo choo. Full stream ahead. <laughs> it's so bad. Cyania, can you get the others? I'll wait for you by the arc. For sure, I'll bring them to you, you know. I had a dream about the Ark, it was flying. I'm going to find a way to make the dream come true, then we can all leave here together. Together! Just break through it. Raven, we need to get everyone on the Ark. How are we supposed to do that? I've checked top to bottom. The two genders? I can't find the power source. I can't even find the door. Don't worry, I can see it. What? Oh. Oh. You didn't check over there? Oh, now it's open. Convenient. The door's been there the whole time. I just had to let myself see it. Come on, it's time to take everyone home. What's gotten into you, Cyania? Cat, I brought the children. Whoa, there's a door. Hurry, get in. Will the Ark really take us home? The children believe in you. You better not be giving them false hope. Trust me, we're taking you all home. Right, Raven? Right. How are we getting through the storm? Episode 16, Children of the Past. Oh, that was a really short chapter. Holy crap. Oh, we're not going with them. All right. I hope it works out.
I think I can take Nushi down. I can see its weak spots now. All right, I'll leave that thing to you. Let me handle the Ark. All right, Raven, the Ark is yours. I'll leave it to you too. Let's meet up later. I love you and all you guys. I can't believe Xenoblade got to be cream of the crop. I enjoyed yesterday's stream. Yesterday's stream was fun. Cream of the crop. Well, this is kind of annoying. Shadow Shadow 38 PL for the resub. Welcome to the Rub It Up Sub Club. <laughs> oh, they're friends now. Holding hands, wow. The subtext. And they were roommates. The children are so excited. They must be looking forward to seeing their parents. Zaza would be excited too if only Sasha was here. Sasha, where'd you hear that name? Zaza showed me a picture of her. He was crying and told me that losing her was all his fault. If only we could have come, we would have come soon, here sooner. Maybe we could have saved her too. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have made a difference. How do you know, Raven? Do you know what happened to her? Yes, Sasha. Well, she's me. <gasps> but how? She's just a little girl. I guess I was just running in circles for nothing. I just, I realized that from watching you, you and I aren't all, all that different, you know? We both just wanted to protect the ones we cared about. I don't care about anybody. I don't know any, I have no connection whatsoever. You know, I've been wanting to ask, why did you hate me so? Okay, we're just, are we just glossing over that? What is this wrong to bring me back to Mr. Parts of the City? The city alderman, Danelica, came to me one day. He said he'd help me convince the mayor to send a rescue mission for the children, so as long as the missing parts of the town stay missing. When we get back to Hexville, what? All right, every, everyone in this story is stupid. The first thing I'm going to do is find out well why D Danelica didn't want those pieces of the city coming back. Oh no, Nushi's back! Nushi, no! What's- why is Nushi doing that? Uh, Danelica told me that as long as, <laughs> as long as I don't let the kids get back, <laughs> I'll keep getting food! <laughs> I lost Raven, I lost the children, and then I lost consciousness, in that order. I fell down, deep down into the void. Where am I? Raven? Zaza? Cyania? Something? F episode 17, Fading Light. Damn, are those teeth? There's a gravity storm down there. I guess that means I've got nowhere to go but up. Hey, Joe, just popped in. So sorry if people have asked already. Are you going to play Resident Evil 4? Yeah, we're going to play it after 13 Sentinels, I think. Do you anticipate any more long hiatuses before the end of the voter list? I do not know. But, you know, if something bad really, really happens, like, who knows? But no, I, I don't anticipate any. In before fifth kit. Nope, we are all done having babies. Marcy Senpai's. After, after yesterday's trip down memory lane, I think that there should be a game with Fido as the main character, and Fido is just in like some, some Chan city, and has to go around helping all the Chans with all of their problems, while being controlled by the, 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 the QT Moon um, Conclave. Will Siggy also be there? It's Fido, not Fido. Easy mistake to make, I know. What's next for us when the voted list is done? I don't know. I don't know if there's gonna be another voted game. I think it would be very expensive to top it. I have some ideas, but I don't know if they're feasible. And I don't 
think doing the exact same thing again is an option. Right, can I just slip right by this? Ooh, let me slip right by you there. Nope. Okay. Dissipating gravity storms. Some of the gravity storms are tied to the presence of Nevi. If you need to get by the storm, try clearing the area of Nevi. <sighs> All of it? All of them? I, I killed the Nevi already. Oh, there's one left. This little shit. When Witcher 3 video drops, would you consider a live stream watching all at once? Of course, not when it first comes out, no. Maybe like a year or two afterwards, I, I might do a, uh, a, a, a watch along of it with Witcher 1 and 2 as well. But that might happen before that. I think that could be fun, but definitely not at the beginning. When? Hey, it's coming out this year, man, or I'm deleting everything. I'm deleting the YouTube channel. I'm deleting the Twitch. I'm fucking, I'm checking out. I'm done. I mean it. How long is the Witcher 3 video so far? It is between 11 and 12 hours long. If I can make it shorter, I will, but that's how long it is right now. It's not going to be any longer than that. What parts of the video need work? The video itself is not really the issue, and the video itself has not been the issue for a long time. But I can't really talk about that, sorry. I know that sucks, you're just going to have to understand that. I will clarify though, because someone said this recently, and it's not true, and maybe it'll help. Um, the issue is not creator burnout, the issue is not that I'm sick of the project, the issue is not that I don't want to make videos anymore, it's nothing like that whatsoever. Like, like I know it may sound unbelievable, I'm still really excited about the video. I'm still excited for people to watch it, I'm still excited for it to get done, I'm really excited for it to come out. Um, like I'm not, I'm not sick of working on it. Like, it's not like, oh, I, I hate my job. I hate my work. It's got nothing like that at all. Really, yeah, really, really, yeah. You hear that, Dusty? It sounds like someone's down here. Hello, is anyone there? I knew it. Someone's down here. We better find him. Oh, I didn't hear shit. Man. I think that maybe when it comes to doing this kind of work, although not not all work, there have been jobs in the past that I've absolutely hated. Um, when it comes to the kind of job, the work that I do now, um, I. I feel like I have a pretty a pretty high amount of fortitude when it comes to just you know being able to um, to do it. Like usually I can end up in crunch phases without um, without really realizing it, and then it's like afterwards that there has to be some like oh shit that was that was too much, and then it's like recovery time afterwards, which may sound silly. You know, recovery time like it's not like I go outside and, and build streets and shit. You know, I'm not doing physical labor, but. Um, in the past, and I'm mostly talking about the past here because, you know, video content has been pretty sparse, but in the past there have been times where I like, like, sink into a project and I'm doing video work for like weeks or even months at a time, like almost every single waking hour, and that really takes a, quite a big toll on you that you might not understand if you've never done that kind of work before. It's like, you really, really lose yourself to it. So you, you, you can feel some sort of phys physical exhaustion at the end of that, but it's more of a mental thing. The most, the most difficult thing that comes out of those phases is um, disassociation. Uh, and I already experienced that a little bit because of um, sleep deprivation because of narcolepsy. So I talked to Lily about this sometimes and it's been like that for like a long, long time. And now it happens with the kids too. Um, a couple times a year, it happens more often if I'm crunching, I will say to her, I don't, I don't recognize you or the kids right now. And that's a really upsetting thing to go through is when I'm looking at my children, I don't recognize their faces because I'm like so, it's not that I haven't seen them, I haven't seen them every day. It's that I'm I'm so in my head and I've like like lost myself so much to something and that happens when I'm uh, when I'm in a really bad period of sleep too. And it really fucks with you. Um, and I think that's disassociation. I think derealization is something else and I experience it sometimes too, but, but less often. What are you doing down here? Are you alone? It happens more because of sleep though, not because the, because of work. I think with work it, it happened sparingly, but um, it was way more often with sleep. So I got to experience this more as, as, narco as a narcoleptic more than anything else. Well, the Gravity Queen, I'm so lucky you came along. I was down here looking for something actually. How did you get down here? What's it doing in a place like this? Isn't it kind of dangerous? Well, I followed the pillar and one step led to another. I finally found what I was looking for, but one of the Nevi surprised me and I fell. Okay, alias, P please, you gotta take me back to the, to the big flower-shaped rock. What I'm looking for should still be there. Oh, we never found the letter! Well, I guess I'm headed up there anyway, but whatever it is you're looking for, it can't be more important than your life. Maybe you're right, but I think I'll be safe as long as you're with me. Aren't we pretty far fucking down? Or, no, you know what? Maybe we, we, we rode the arc to, like, the, the top part of the tree that's below the, um, below the, uh, the city. All right, where's the flower? Will you make the, video, the Witcher 3 video a YouTube premiere so we can chat during it? Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I might do a premiere... Uh-oh. Oh, no! I might do a premiere at some point in the future, but I don't know if I want to, like, do my first premiere with a, with a video like Witcher 3. Because I'd have never done it before, and what if something goes wrong with it? Like, I don't know. I don't think it would be a good idea. 
I swear it's around here somewhere. That's the rock. Take me over to it. All right, here you go. Finally, the rock. This is the place. I saw the letter somewhere around the big rock. Now, where to go? Letter? Did you say letter? Where to hear about a letter before? Ah, look out. Huh? Honest question, do you think you'll ever be able to play Witcher 3 again um, after the video? Uh, like, for my own enjoyment, like, as a game, like, I feel like playing Witcher 3? Uh, probably not, no. But, like, it's pretty rare I'll play a game again after a video unless it's, like, an actual game that's built for replayability, you know what I mean? Is this letter you was talking about? I could swear someone else asked me about the le about a letter. That's the last letter I wrote to my girlfriend. I know she's been looking all over for it. Please, can you take it for me? That's right. I came down here for the first place because a girl wanted me to find a letter. Why don't you come back uh, in Hexville with me and give it to yourself? I'm sorry, but I can't. Now that I know the letter's in good hands, it's time for me to move on from this world. What? Please tell letter I'll love her always. Don't talk like that. You make it sound like you're going to die or something. I already have. Thank you, cat. Goodbye. Wait, what? Uh, was that a go? <laughs> I need to get his letter back to his rightful owner. What? What's going on? <laughs> go, 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 ghost. Uh, it's very rare that I will replay a story game, e whether the it was made for a video or not. You know? And Witcher- none of the Witcher games are, um, are gameplay games to me. While we're on top of Witcher 3, will the vid talk about the latest next-gen update that include a bunch of mods? No need to answer if you don't want to go into it. Uh, very unlikely. I'm gonna look into it. I haven't yet. I'll look into it and see. If it, it does get a part, it'll be very small. I can't possibly think of how that would be worth, like, a whole section or even more than a couple minutes of going into what made you want to do the witcher videos to, be, to begin with um i've always liked the series uh and i always wanted to play witcher 3 and um i say this in the in the witcher 3 video itself actually um when i first started the channel um like making how getting a new computer to make the videos was um, you know, the main reason to, to justify getting a new computer because we really couldn't afford it. And like the sneaky reason in my head was also uh, I get to play Witcher 3 because I didn't have a computer that could run it. So it was like that the, the Witcher, playing the Witcher 3 was like the fun part of the PC build. And then the, um, the, the new work was like the, the you know, how we're justifying affording it, you know? <laughs> um, and then the channel took off and I never got a chance to play it. So it, it kind of got tangled up into that. So yeah, I think I say that pretty early on in the Witcher 3 video. Do you feel like you've become a better streamer than a YouTube creator at this point? I don't know what I'm better at. Um, I, yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know what I'm better at. Obviously, people are going to have their own opinion on that, what, what, what I'm better at. Um, I know that the... Uh, actually, I don't know if that's true anymore either because I'm so out of, out of the YouTube sphere. Is it... Are long-form uh, videos like I make still somewhat uncommon? I wouldn't say they're rare. But there are lots and lots of streamers, but there aren't nearly as many people that make long-form content. So, like, I, I know it's not rare, but is it uncommon still? So, in terms of what content's more special, I would say that the uh, the YouTube content is definitely more... Like, I, I'm not... Unique is way too strong of a word, but it's, it's more unique. Someone said something about dodging before you hit the ground. Oh, nice. What if, if I just hold the button? There's some healing. No, holding the button does not does not do it. I have to time it. What game influenced you to make to want to make such uh, lengthy critique videos? Um, I've <laughs> all right, not a, not a proud moment of mine, but I've said it many times. Uh, the reason why I want to start a YouTube channel was because I was angry that everyone was hating on Dark Souls 2 and filleting Dark Souls 1 as a perfect game. And I was pissed off because I was like, these motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You know, Dark Souls 1's better. Don't get me wrong. Like, Dark Souls 1 is definitely the better game. But Dark Souls 2, it's fine. It's not, you know, an amazing 10 out of 10 game, but it's fine. And that that was, like, the, the reason why I wanted to, to start, yeah. Getting so angry. If you ever deleted your online presence, what do you think you'd do? Create a new one with a, with a voice synthesizer. Ooh, woo. Now, I don't know what I would do. Like, I'm, I don't really need to think about it, because I'm, like, whatever state the video is in, I'll just release it. I think it'll be fine, don't worry. What's better, Dark Souls 2 or Odyssey? Actually, you know what? Surprisingly a tough question. I think that Odyssey is definitely more playable and definitely more pickup and playable. Um, the kids are really into Odyssey right now. They're, like, they're actually, they played it before. Um, Leo just finished it for the first time. Uh, Finn finished it for a while, and he claims that on his on his old Switch, because um, his they, they've gone through a couple Switches now because they break so easily because Nintendo's you know quality assurance fucking sucks. Uh, Finn claims on his previous Switch that uh, he got Odyssey, um, he got to to the dark side of the moon, uh, or um, 
uh, the darker side of the moon, and he and he beat that thing at the end. I, I don't believe him, but he claims he did it. Uh, they're playing the game again right now, and they're trying to get all the moons. And seeing them like how they just like don't give a shit about pacing whatsoever. They don't they don't get that it's boring to go between the different levels. They don't, you know a lot of the uh, like the very casual like just throw a moon at you content they get excited about oh i got another moon look i'm up to 250 now oh look look look, look. like you know like it definitely is a game for kids man and for that it's a pretty good game and it's really hard to judge odyssey as a as an adult because i feel like it is so much for kids and i don't know a lot of people got really angry when i said that but i think it's really true i have the kids myself now and they're playing it and it's it seems like i have so much like growing evidence and examples that supports it now like like, they have good taste, like, they love Hollow Knight. It's not like, oh, they, they love really bad games, but, like, when you play a lot of games, like, there's a specific style of Odyssey's, like, content that becomes so tedious from the amount of experience that you're bringing to the table. I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm saying this a lot more inflammatory than I need to be. It's not just games that are like this, though, like, have you, like, here's a good example in movies, I think, or TV shows. Are any of you at the point now where, like, they have the establishing scenes where it shows, like, the main character with, like, oh, look, he has a family, or she has a family, and they all get along so great, and you're just like, yeah, I get it, whatever, you don't, you don't need to do this work. Like, I don't, I don't need to see that you think that your character is a great fucking person, like, who gives a fucking shit? You know, let's just get to the fucking story, please. Like, and, and that's what I mean, like, when, once you've experienced enough stories, there are stuff like that where, like, if it's done in a very, like, just competent way it's really annoying um and i feel like odyssey is full of that sort of stuff and if you've played a lot of games it's really annoying because you're at the point where you're like yeah i get it it's fine let's go you know like i don't i don't need this shit but when you're a kid it's great now for the real question do your kids like dark souls 2? they have not played a dark souls game i think they're a little too young for that right now but anyway to answer the question i think that maybe odyssey is a better game than dark souls 2 maybe for me i'd rather play dark souls 2 but like the movement in odyssey is really good it's really fun but overall i, I don't know i think you might just grow into a bit of a cynic to be honest you think i'm a cynic i don't think i'm a cynic at all really uh oh time paradox i'm a cynic but my heart's not in it I'm paying the price of living life to the limit. <laughs> Delnekia, I'm here for payment! How is this thing not dead? Oh, they can defend themselves now. Okay, you know what? Kind of base. Oh, it was a waifu all along. she have robot legs or really really thin legs is she a robot it's been a year since we last met hasn't it shifter a year time flows differently in the, at the bottom of the tree a year since your absence we've assembled the jellyfish a special forces unit augmented by the latest and cutting edge autonomous weaponry sea wasp what do you think she's a beaut isn't she i mean she was here last time so you're a sea wasp huh you were amazing out there you took th that nevy down like it was nothing this is twice now twice you've screwed up and brought the nevy to hell to Hexville. You're a troublemaker, and we don't need your kind around here. She's not wrong. Putin, if I may, the Nevi's threat has grown in the years since you've been gone. This is your last chance to take us up on our offer. Join us, and we, and we can fight the Nevi menace together. Together. Who was um who was knocking on the door? Are we ever gonna find that out? Uh, look, I, was it was it Sea Wasp? Uh, look, I need to go home and take a long hot shower. The first in a year, apparently, and then maybe I'll think about it. Okay. Oh, and then we just left. Okay, cool. Cat, Cat, it's you. Where have you been? Sid, what's with the uniform? We all just like this now, huh? Oh, with Mayor Danelica in power, the police got absorbed into the military. We're all working together now and doing our best to fight the Nevi. But never mind that. Where have you been all this time? Rumor had it you and Raven fought a gruesome battle to the death. Yeah, about that. 
Sorry, I better get back to work. We'll talk about it next time. The people of Hexville were living in fear, and Unica, or Sea Wasp, was more weapon than human. In a few days, I thought I'd been gone. A whole year had passed in Hexville. I felt myself drowning in the changes that had taken place in my absence. Welcome back, cat. This is all over the place. You had a long journey, so you must be looking forward to a shower and a good night's sleep. Gade, you're a creator. You must know what happened to Raven and the children, right? I might be powerful, but I'm not that powerful. Once a creation is created, only the creation itself can create its own path. That doesn't help at all. What if it creates its own creator? All right, we're just like, it's been a whole year. Surely the Ark must be back by now. Nope. Cat, there you are. You, you brought that pipe with you too? I didn't know this was what you meant by moving. There goes the neighborhood. I thought you'd be happy to see me. That's just, that's just like young people. No respect for their elders. You'll grow old and be lonely like me someday. I better stop him before he starts to cry. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, it'll be fun living so close together. I always wanted someone sitting on a pipe to talk to. That's the spirit. It'll just be like old times. Hey, I'll even reopen the gateways to the rift plains just for you, neighbor. But why do I want to go back there? I nearly got killed for some around. All right. For, 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 uh, fucking gems. Talk to gate three. Visit any of the rift plains to collect pre previous gems or special moves you may have left behind. Oh, we did miss it. We did miss a special move. Micro black hole. I knew we missed one. All right, uh, Mirage, let's go. Can you give a recap of where, about where you are in the game, what you're doing? I actually can't. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what we're trying to do. We're just kind of going with the flow. The Mirage. Okay, where... The story isn't complicated, I know. It's not that it's complicated, it's just very difficult to have any concrete thing to say about it. We're just, we're just doing shit. So for me to explain the story, I'd have to just recap all the shit that we have done while, we, while we've been doing shit. All right, where is this, um, where's the special move? Is it over there? Do 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 do, do 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 do. I can feel myself getting stronger. Okay, hold the left stick down and press triangle. All right. Ooh, big AOE. Well, that's interesting. That might be useful. Okay, can I leave now or do I have to do the whole thing? Being a parent yourself, which more media do you think is most effective in imparting knowledge and influencing children? Probably TV. And well, I shouldn't say TV, I should say videos. I think videos like instructional videos, I think are, are really, really good. Um, I think the best way to learn is a combination of interactable video. Um, some of the stuff on, it's been a long time since I used this website, so I can't say if it's still up to, up to date or whatever. Um, but I think some of the, the stuff that you can do on, on Khan Academy is uh, very, very effective at teaching you things. Because you have like visual examples that are being reinforced. You have, you have a, a, um, like a lecture that has been refined because people because they can have stats on where they know um, where they're losing students that sort of thing. Um, I think that's the future of education. It's almost like a like an algorithm perfected uh, course where through lots and lots and lots and lots of classes and seeing where students fall behind and get lost, they've like perfected and smoothed out all of the, the little uh, little wrinkles in in how people learn. Almost like a video game, like like putting in like tutorial messages and stuff. Like yeah. I think that is the best way to learn. If, okay, like aside from actually having a, a, a person who's a very effective teacher, like in the room with you or on a call with you, like fielding questions live and shit, like obviously that's the best way to learn, I think. Uh, for most people, everyone's different, but I think that's probably the best way to learn overall. But you asked about like what form of media is the best, so I think that's the best. If you mean like a, a creative, like, like, okay, like reading books for fun, watching TV for fun, that sort of thing, what's best there? Um, I would still say that probably videos are the best way to learn, but the best way to get life experience and see other perspectives is probably books. Books are the best way to get yourself into the perspective of a whole other person and see what it's like to see the world through someone else's eyes. And I don't think people read enough um, today, and that's including myself. I don't read enough either. It's one of the biggest flaws in my life, I think, is how much, how little I read currently. I used to read a lot more. Music is pretty good for that too. Um, I don't know enough about like really, really good music to say that. I would say that a lot of the music that's very popular isn't really good for that, but it's possible that some uh, some really artful music can do that. But I feel like if you, if you need to if to experience that through music, you have to have a very high level of like media literacy, especially with a lot of experience with music, maybe. 
Um, and I don't really know how you get that, because I'm not really that into music. I love music, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's never been like a, a really huge hobby of mine. It's just it's a very passive kind of thing for me. And I like that, don't get me wrong. I like that it was something that I didn't really ruin by studying it. Playing video games takes up too much of my time. Yeah, I love video games. It's my favorite form of media. Like, it's like, obviously, that's what I do. But um, I think I play games too much. Even considering that it's my job, I think I play games too much. And I think a lot of people spend way too much time playing video games. I don't think you should stop playing video games. I'm not going that far, not not even close. But I think there's too many people that, that spend too much time playing games. Especially if you have a game like, like World of Warcraft or League of Legends or Final Fantasy XIV, which is... Um, or Genshin Impact or anything like that and it just becomes like if there's ever any downtime instead of like trying to do anything You're just like ah, eh, I'll just play my game that I play that like that's like your default resting state instead of being like open to doing anything It's just like consumed by this habit that you formed I think that's when things can get pretty dangerous and I've definitely been there in my life It's a hobby. So why not? Hobbies can be very unhealthy if your hobby is healthy then yeah, there's nothing wrong with that like obviously and if you're, even if it is unhealthy, or like, or someone else might say it's unhealthy, if you're happy and you feel fulfilled, and you and you don't think that there's anything wrong with what you're doing, then then continue on doing it. Like obviously you're the master of your own life, but if you're unhappy and you have an unhealthy habit like that, then maybe the unhealthy habit is contributing to it. Try the new, yeah, I should have tried the new move there. That would have been good. But you know, sometimes it's hard to even tell that if you have an unhealthy habit, and sometimes it's hard to tell if you're unhappy. Sometimes you might think that you're happy short term, and you might look back at your life and go, oh shit, I wish I had done something else. So, I don't know, it's hard. What game or series would you never want your kids to experience irrespective of their age? Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm only half kidding. I feel like it doesn't do it with everyone. I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog is a gateway to making you a very odd person in a bad way <laughs> again not everyone but i feel like there's there's a uh like i don't know if, it, if it's a causal link or if it's just like correlation or whatever i don't know there are a lot of sonic fans i don't know man like I'm, I, am i hitting on something here and i don't need to elaborate i just i just feel like sure it's not going to be with everyone but why would you risk it <laughs> Oh, someone put the gems back, yay. Do you think there's something different say, b between say knitting for 12 hours a day versus playing games for 12 hours a day? Yes, but at the same time, um, so here's where it gets a little difficult to judge. If you're playing games for 12 hours a day, okay, first of all, if you're doing anything for 12 hours a day, I think that's too an extreme. If you're doing anything for 12 hours, 12 hours a day, I think you have a problem, okay? Like like big time. However, if you're if you're doing like, let, let's make it more reasonable. Let's Let's drop it down to, I don't know, is six hours enough? Six hours or eight hours enough? If you're doing something for 12 hours a day, I really think that you that you need to reevaluate your that, that you're doing something wrong. But however, let's say during that time you're also like you got a headset on and you're listening to a podcast and you're really you're learning something or you're like taking an online course that you're listening to it while you're doing your knitting or like you're you're on the phone for a bunch of that and you're having like a social thing or you have friends over and you're actually talking to them while you're doing it like they're in the room with you or like you're you're doing multiple things that are laying over at once and that's just like the foundation of, of, of how you're spending your day then I think it can be a lot more healthy and a lot more like okay maybe it's not so bad um but you know in the example of like oh knitting i would say knitting like that long if that's all you're doing if you're just sitting around doing knitting for 12 hours a day like i would say that's probably the, the same kind of like you have a problem as playing video games it's not specific to a video game in, in this context when you're going that hard on it if you're playing a video game for i th i think six hours a day playing a video game every single day especially or maybe only if it has a social component to it. I don't think that's that bad actually. Maybe it's not even bad at all. And I think a lot of boomers uh, don't understand that. Sorry to say boomers, but you know, I think some people who aren't into games can understand that as they will just like sit around and watch TV for six hours and not even blink and think it's fine because they're interacting with their family or whatever all on the phone at the same time. A lot of people, for a lot of people playing games for that long is a huge social component. Like watching a stream right now, like you're talking to me, right? You're talking to people in chat. You're probably doing something else at the same time. Like it's not like, um, uh, it's, it's completely devoid of, uh, of any social interaction. I think social interaction is really important. I think with knitting, the difference is knitting you're creating, whereas uh, with video games you're just consuming. Uh, the game depends kind of on the game. I think that people undervalue the amount of skills you'll actually get from, from gaming. I think they've even done studies about this, and obviously there's drawbacks too, especially physical drawbacks. Um, people who play games typically have much higher... Uh, critical thinking skills, deductive skills, 
reaction speeds and spatial reasoning, I think. Like, um, and I think that that can also branch over to different areas of your life. It just rarely does. And I, this isn't me referring. I'm pretty sure I've read some studies that 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 have been reinforced with that. That doesn't mean that it's the same as like, hey, oh, I played games that puts me on the same level as learning an instrument or whatever. But it's not completely devoid of of anything. I also think there's value in getting really good at something competitively, and that's different. A lot a lot of gamers don't do this, or sorry, a lot of people who play games. You don't want to say gamers. I think there is a there is an ocean of difference between people who are just like consuming games casually and just playing a game as background noise and people who are playing competitively in, in, in multiplayer or speed running or really pushing themselves to get really, really good at something. I think there's a lot of value that comes out of trying to do that sort of thing and not just out of the sense of achievement and, and the skills you develop while playing the game. I think there's a lot of value that comes from that just from, from the act of perseverance and like the discipline and, and and the fortitude that you have to have in order to push past the times where you like I really do not want to be doing this right now like like I really don't want to do this I really I'm tired I've hit a wall I, I I'm not getting any better I'm mad I'm fucking tilted I feel like there's there's a lot I think that's really is worth quite a bit actually and I think that can extend to different parts of your life I think a, a big problem that a lot of gamers have is that um, they don't branch out enough because they're just stuck in the realm of games. But I am like absolutely talking on my ass right now. I have no like examples to back this up. I have no studies. It's just a feeling I have from from being online for most of my life. You don't always need to be doing something productive. With your time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But the question, but you should be doing something productive with your time most days. So that's the, the difference is like, yeah, not every hour needs to be a productive hour, but if all of your hours on most days are not productive, you have a problem. The events that follow took place not long after I, dis I disbanded the uh, the snake rabbits. Uh, some ghosts refused to die and one of my past was coming back to haunt me. It all started off, it all started off with a bang at Pandora's fortunes. Huh? What's everyone looking at? All right, so now we're back in time, right? Alias, where are you, my lovely gravity queen? Here's a token of my heart to show at Burn Street. Wait, I thought we we took care of him. Or is this like before the alias fight even? Maybe it is. Alias, but that's impossible. Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh no, Pandora's fortunes. Aki might be hurt. Come on, let's go. Meow. I think being productive mindset is so toxic. Do you think so? I can definitely see where you're coming from. At the same time though, I'm I think it is the best way to describe it. I think people don't really push themselves hard enough but i'm not talking about money like it's it's not about oh be productive make money make money hustle hustle i mean it's talking about like like learning a skill or trying to broaden your horizons or just like try and make yourself happy in a very fulfilling way that that's also what i mean by productive a big thing for me and i feel really i really i feel really fucked off about this um, because I grew up in a generation that, uh, or maybe it wasn't my generation. Maybe it was just like, like the, the bubble that I lived in with, with my school and the schools I went to and my parents or whatever. And there was just like this little, this little period of time, you know, instead of being a whole generation, um, I was taught that anything to do with like, like the physical, the physical world, like, like, like sports and, uh, and, and your looks and all this other stuff, all these things were superficial. And it's all, only what's on the inside counts and the mental world is so much better and it's better to be it's better to be a nice selfless person and someone who focuses on on studies and academia and stuff like that and everything else is secondary to that maybe even it's like in last place and that's shallow and you shouldn't you shouldn't bother with that and that is complete and utter horseshit and I feel like I was I was set up for failure um, and put down some really really like uh, bad habits and bad and a bad path because I was that was pushed so hard on me, you know. Um, I don't think there is anything more important than your physical health. Like like I I've gone like a complete 180 on that as I got older. I think that's number one is your physical health. Like, like I, it's not even like, oh, like, oh, it's, it's important. Like, no, like it, it determines everything. Like, even if you want to be like, like an academic person, you have to have really strong physical health. You have to have a really good physical health foundation because that has so many benefits, Men even mental health, your physical health is uh, impacts your mental health wildly, wildly important, for, important for everything. No matter what you want to do, your physical health is number one because it comes for anything. 
Like it, it makes you it makes you feel better, it makes you move better, it makes you think better, your cognitive ability is raised, like like you you're not in a haze all the time because you're tired. I, I'm not talking about looks at all right now. Like if you like I'm just talking about being being healthy enough to be able to like actually have like comfortable range of movement, you're not uncomfortable in your body, you're taking care of yourself, you can do a decent amount of cardio, like lifting things up is not a lot of a lot of stress for you. Going on a long walk is not a lot of stress for you, you know, it helps you sleep better, it helps you do all these things okay like like that is like i i feel like my i or maybe it was my generation or maybe it was just like again a little bubble i was in was done a great disservice by that being like oh that's secondary who gives a shit about that sort of thing but but no it's like the most important important thing you can do okay that doesn't mean you have to be like oh fucking like ripped as all hell and like like live at the gym all the time or anything like that. i'm not saying that at all like um, i'm not saying you have to like like hit a goal weight even i'm just saying that, that physical activity as a regular part of your life is probably the most important thing that you can do also taking care of your appearance is also really important i'm not saying this is a good thing and society is 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 a good place for that but again a lie i was fed is that oh it's what's the inside that counts and people should judge each other from how the, from how they act and like and and their and their inner inner person that's complete horseshit okay i'm not saying it's a good thing but it's complete horseshit okay if you are not putting in some amount of effort into like for lack of a better word um I can't think of the word now. I had the word in my head and now it's gone. Vanity. If you don't have a little bit of vanity in your life, I feel like you're really doing yourself a disservice. And this is coming from someone who's not vain at all. And I'm tr I'm saying this because I'm trying to convince myself to, to take the plunge on, on doing this sort of thing. It's, if, you're an, if you're an adult, um, you should have at some point gone to the mirror and practiced how do how does my face look when I smile? How does my face look when I talk? What kind of stance do I want to have? What kind of demeanor do I want to have? How do I how do I present myself when I'm in this kind of mood? Like what's my what best hairstyle I can have? What's the best like like my, my skin complexion? Um, if if you have a beard, like how do I groom? Like this this sort of level of like how do you present yourself to the world? Even if it was just like a little bit that you did, and then you got like a little bit of a, a foundation on that sort of thing. How do you dress? What what's 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 the kind of clothes that fit your body well? How do you present yourself? And I'm not saying this that you you need to do this to be happy. I'm saying that if you want to present yourself well in society and have some level of advantage, you kind of have to do this because people will judge you and they will treat you poorly and they will like dislike you and you will like lose opportunities because of of if you don't do this sort of thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's how it is. Like if you're, if you're not looking after your appearance and you're not putting effort into your appearance, you are doing yourself a disservice. And I was taught that you don't have to do that shit and it's complete bullshit. Aki, Aki, are you okay? Over here, I'm okay, but poor Pandora, she's, uh, oh, oh, what the fuck? She's pretty beat up. Please come in through. What's the situation? Sit over here. Kate, Kat, what are you doing here? I was right near Pandora's fortunes when the explosion went off. I came here as fast as I could check on Aki. Kat, did you see the monitors? Alias is back, but how could he still be alive? Anyway, oh, so it is, okay, confirmed it's afterwards. Okay. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Please, you gotta help us catch whoever did this. We found a note near the scene of the crime. This is a warning about more bombs. If we don't get them off, don't find them before they go off. Someone could get hurt. So is someone pretending to be Alias? Alias is the Alias? Cat, work with Chaz to defuse the bombs. He's an explosive expert, but and next to me, he's... And ne oh, and next to me, he's the smartest guy on the floor. I thought you mean he, like, <laughs> he's an explosive expert, and he's next to me. Here, talk to him. That isn't filling me with confidence. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, while you two are defusing the bombs, I'll work on tracking Alias down. You've got to let me help. My powers might be might provide some kind of hint into solving this case. The person that did this to Pandora needs to pay and pay big. I know Pandora means a lot to you. Pandora must mean a lot to Aki if she's willing to provide ser services free of charge. Here, take this fortune. Find the person who did this for us. How, how did anyone sneak up on you, fortune teller? Don't worry, Aki. We'll bring this person to do this to justice. All right, let's see what our fortune says. Return to the... The return of the dark cat, the place where iron horses rest, a family of hoppers and slitherers, a forest of prayers. I guess it wouldn't be one of Aki's fortunes if it made any sense. Cat, is that the message you got from the owner of Pandora's fortunes? Yeah, but I don't have any clue what it, any of it means. Fortunes is designed to be vague, so they can cover any possibility. That's why I don't put any faith in them myself, though I guess it can be fun. Wait, it says the return of the dark cat. Chaz might be a little dry, but he seems like a pretty smart guy. So says Mr. Stewart. So don't tell me you figured the, the first one out. Well, remember that black suit you wore when you were inf infiltrating the, the Snake Rabbits? Sid called you the Dark Cat. Maybe it's him for you to change into that costume again. Hey, I think you're right. Though I'm not sure what changing into clothes will help solve the case. Here we go. Oh, it just changed for us. 
Okay, you know what? You know what? I'll admit it. I kind of like the outfit. The tail could go for me, but I kind of like the outfit. Ta-da, the dark cat is back. What do you think? I think I should stay here and analyze leftover traces from the first bomb. It might help me defuse the next one you find. I meant about the costume. It's like he doesn't even know, doesn't even notice me. Right then, I'll let, let you... I'll just, I, I didn't read that line. Shoot, I was hoping we would work together. I'll just go and look for those bombs. Right, I'll let you know if I need to learn anything new. Spy pack part two, the dream, dream life of ghosts. Well... That takes care of the first fortune. Now let's see about the next one. The place where the iron horses rest. That's not much to go on. I'm not a big fan of like, it looks like she forgot to zip it up. Okay. Oh my, is, is that actually it? She just didn't zip it up? I mean, if something's not zipped up all the way, if she moves, isn't just gonna unzip even more? I think it would look better if it was zipped up. Helmet's a little chunky too. Do you know what's happening in the story? Not at all, kinda, yes. <laughs> so over the stream has been background noise here, big time. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I'm having fun though, and that's what matters. Hey, it's Kish. What's he doing at the train station just standing around? Wait, the place where iron horses rest and a family of hoppers and slitherers. The fortune is talking about the train station and about the, the snake rabbits. The fortune predicted I'd be reunited with the old gang at the train station. Boss, what are you doing here? Hey, Kish, are you waiting for the, for the train? I guess you really did give up racing, huh? Yeah, I'm commuting by train now. Okay, but they're not running today. Something must have happened. I was planning to hop aboard and head off on a journey to find myself when I got stuck here. Find myself? What's the holdup? I don't see any gravity storms. It's Alias. The city's in the middle of a bomb scare. I'm trying to find all the bombs before they go off. Alias is back, so you're going to take him down for the for good this time? You got to let me and the boys in on the action. Didn't he get, like, like crushed in a trash compactor? The snake rabbits are back. Split up and help the boss find those other bombs. You got it. I need to find the forest of prayers. I wonder if it means a real forest or if it's some kind of strange metaphor. Boss, we'll go over to the city with a fine tooth comb. If there's a bomb, we'll find it. Right, and Kish, thank you. I think in some ways, this might be the most anime game we've ever played. Is it? Yeah, in the way it's just like riffing on its togetherness, power, friendship bullshit, but in a way that is just like nothing makes sense. <laughs> just, everything is just a filler arc. I don't know. Did you find anything? Boss, I've looked everywhere, but there's nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe one of the other guys found something. I guess this area is safe then. Thank you. You kind of played 13 Sentinels. Is that really going to be the new number one for anime? Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is prime anime bullshit, not this. Well, Anu, you would know. Did you find anything? I haven't found a thing. I don't think there's a bomb here, but you should check with the others. Thanks, I'll do that. Beep. Cat here. Boss, come quick. I found a bomb in the forest near the church. You found it? I'll be right there. Click. The forest near the church. Of course, that's the forest of prayers. Aki's fortune is right on the money. I mean, it's no star ocean, but it's close. Who is who is the person that kept doing the star ocean joke? You remember that? Why can't we just throw it? Puckered star. Yeah, that was it. Puckered starfish. Why is Cash Rain 2 your favorite book? Um, I don't think I can go into Cash Rain 2 right now and explain it. Um... Just briefly, I really enjoyed non-linear storytelling and Cash 22 has used it in a very beautiful way where like if if I explain how Cash 22 works, you wouldn't think that it, it could make any sense, but it just it just does. And I think it's beautiful for that. Uh, it's also very funny and uses that funniness to uh, the humor to build up quite quite a big emotional payoff uh, multiple times throughout the story. I really like Cash 22. Phew, that bomb's diffused. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack when I saw you coming here with it. Funny, these bombs are nothing like the one one I diffused back in Industria. Really, they sure look the same. They might look the same, but the explosive payload is decided is different. These new bombs are all bark and no bite. Maybe Alice just ran out of explosives? Well, I suppose it's a possibility. We should head inside and get our facts together. Alias has changed his MO. We have no way of predicting what he'll do next, so we have to stay on our toes. Hard Eric ignore someone change. Oh, is this Eric? Without any new information, there's nothing to do but wait. I see all, I know all, ignore me at your p -p peril. Pandora, it's a new fortune, here take this. You, I thought Pandora was laying a curse on us or something, thanks. Are we conducting investigations based on fortunes now? Sure, seemingly we were last time, but we can't go running after vague prophecies every time we want to solve the case. This might be vague, but you have to admit, Eki's fortunes are pretty accurate. Well, unless you have any better ideas, we should get what we, take what we can get. Okay, next fortune says, catch the white flyer and you will find the false store. Why does this, that's the fortune sound so, sound so familiar? Why, why are we doing this actually? Maybe the side quests are a mistake. White flyer, of course, but wait, this time there's more of them. Is streaming XCOM is a serious possibility in the future? Seems like you want to and chat was into idea. Yeah, I think so. I think it might be something that we do in the future. I don't know when, but I think it might be fun. It's worth a couple streams to find out at least. It might be a collaborative effort though, because um, I don't really know XCOM and it's not my kind of game. So maybe I have to uh, take advice from chat on what to upgrade and stuff. And I'm sure you guys will all be calm and, uh, and patient and uh, all agree on what we should do. Is streaming Dishonored to a serious possibility in the future? Seems like you wanted to and chat was into the idea. No. Maybe. Did I just crash into the bird? Phew! Excuse me. Sorry, didn't have time to give a warning. 
Catch the white flyer and you will find the false door. Well, I caught the flyers, but where's the false door? I wonder if the false door could be could be that wall with the graffiti that used to lead to, ga to Gade. Oh, is the kid going to be in there? Are we going to finally find the kid? Oh. How did you get it in the wall? Beep. Chaz here, what's up? Would you, would you start XCOM 2 with DLC on or off? I, I don't know how to answer that. I found the bomb, I can't, but I can't move it. There's not much time, what do I do? If you can't bring the, the bomb to me, bring me to the bomb. Okay, is it okay to just leave that bomb up there? Hmm, guess I don't have much of a choice. Does Gravity Rush have fewer viewers than Forspoken? Yeah, it seems to be like a, it's a, it's a dud for sure, but I am I'm enjoying it, so it's fine. I don't really know what's going on with viewers lately. It feels like we were the most successful if I just, if I just like talk on a black screen and have a wheel on there. Get me to the bomb, I'll handle the rest. Right, here we go. So I don't know, if I had been talking this whole entire time, maybe it would be better? I don't know. Uh, last Forspoken stream was pretty low compared to the first one though, so maybe Forspoken's kind of kind of going going down too. Do okay, I disarmed it. You know what I said when these bombs are different? Well, I think that's important somehow. Does not matter? Bombs a bomb. We need to get make sure they're all disarmed. There's another thing that bothers me. We have, we've seen Alias, but we haven't seen any Nevi yet. Hey, you're right. Up to now, an Alias and Nevi have always been a package deal. I wonder if it's because if the game has a story and a lot of story scenes, they have to be like bangers, and this isn't. Aha! You'll find the next bomb at the place where the Gravity Queen story began. You have two minutes. How'd you know that? Beat cat here. Do you see the announcement? We don't have much time for the next bomb goes off. I know. We've just got two minutes, but where is it? I'm not sure, but you gave us a clue. You'll find the next bomb at the place where the Gravity Queen story began. Where my story began? Well, the first thing I remember is waking up in the little park. Well, it can't be that, because no one knows that apart from you and the cat. I think I know where the bomb is. Chaz, wait for me back at Fendora's Fortunes. We've got to hurry. Find the bomb in two minutes. I don't remember where that was. Do you think I know where that was? I don't, I don't, I, like, the whole thing was confusing as fuck when we did that. I don't know where that was. Was it down here? It was through a pipe or something, wasn't it? Does the movement feel good in this game? Yeah, it does, yeah. I really like the movement in this game. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was in the right kind of area. Do you think you'll play Gravity Rush 2? Yeah, for sure. I don't know if we're going to stream it now, though, because chat doesn't seem to really like it, but I'd be down. We probably will, but not right away. Oh, we're so going to make it. We're so going to make it. Oh, we actually made it. All right. What the heck? What is it? What's wrong? This bomb's not like the others. I've never had to deal with one like this before. I need the right passwords to defuse it. Passwords? It looks like there's a note here. Maybe it's from Alias. I think it's a hint to the passwords. Well, it's a, well, it's, it's a set of poems addressed to you. Poems? I was first captivated by your red eyes, and in the blank room behind your bed, I... Whoa, give me that. These are all about me. How does he know so much? This is creeping me out. Creeped out or not, I'm going to need the answers to defuse the bomb. Oh, is it you? Did you do this? I don't... Oh, I'm too late. Doing the game is too repetitive. This game, it's a bit repetitive, yeah. What the heck? What is it? What's wrong? Okay, so what? what is it? Okay. I was first captivated by your red eyes and in the blank room behind your bed. What's behind our, our, our There's like a sewer behind our bed, isn't it? Shower? If only I was the black cat blank, we could be together forever. Dusty. I dream of living in the blank with you. Pipe house? Uh, how does Alias know this stuff about me? Was he in my room? Oh, that's so gross. That was a close call, but you picked the right passwords. I'm glad I could help defuse the bomb, but I feel a little exposed. We should go back inside Pandora's fortunes and check with Sid. Maybe he has something on Alias. Maybe he is Alias. Um, girl feeling vulnerable here. Vulnerable. Are you paying attention here? We're right. Okay. The pieces just don't fit together with this last Alias case. Yeah, he's acting really weird, especially with the whole password thing. Hey, Sid, do you f did you figure out where Alias was? Sorry, no luck. I can't even figure out what he's after. It's not like there's a sacred gem to steal, pal. We better form a task force to work on tracking him down. I'll submit the, f the forms to the station if... There's no time to deal with all that red tape. The station's going to be backlogged for a while with today's bomb scare. Find the man who did this to me. Pandora needs to justice. Don't let Alias get away. That is Aki speaking, right? Uh, Pandora, did you see something? Yes, and here's another fortune. The Phantom's resting place. What is what is this? Well, the Phantom is obviously Alias, but how am I supposed to know where he would be resting? Not unless it rest means. And I thought he was dead this whole time. Maybe he's a ghost. I know he's a threat to the city, but I never meant for him to die. They're ghost bombs. That's why they're different. Well, there's no use waiting around. I'm going to Industria to check this out. I've got to figure out why he's doing all this. Hey, cat, where are you going? There you are, boss. 
Boss, did you see that last alias broadcast? Man, that guy loves to cause trouble. You don't know the half of it. I just found out he's in Industria. I'm heading there now to confront him. Industria, huh? Well, hop aboard. I can get you there in no time. I know you don't approve of while driving, but I figure maybe you can look the other way just this once. You'll need to save your strength in case there's a big showdown, right? Thanks, Kish. I'll take you up on the offer, but just this once. Now let's ride. But a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, bum, but a bit of bum, but a bit of bum, bum. Thank you, Kish. It was fun flying with you. Yeah, I had a blast. All right, I got you to Industria. Now let's now let's go get Alias. I won't let him get away. The Phantom's resting place. Come on, Dusty. Let's go find our ghost. Meow. All right, this is taking too long. We need to take a break. All right, one second. All right, everyone. It's time for the Spinter mission. Everyone's favorite part of the stream. Today, the wheel is deciding who is the best Chan of all the Chans we can think of. All right, Eric Chan, Trolley Chan, Breaker Chan, QT Moon Chan, Fido Chan. Is Fido a Chan or is Fido just Fido? Trash Chan, who else? Patch Chan, Bike Chan, Bomb Chan, Wheel Chan. Yep, the newest Chan, Wheel Chan. The wheel itself is a Chan. Undo and Edge. All right, that's it. That's all the Chans we're putting on here for now. Undo Chan and Edge Chan. All right, that's all the Chans we're having on here right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Today, Today's uh, Spinter Mission. Who is the best Chan? All right, you know what? It's not conclusive, but it's who's the best Chan today, according to the wheel, at 4.22 Atlantic Canada time. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's elimination round, obviously. Who is the best Chan? Spin, spin, spin. Spin to win. Here we go. Who is the first off? QT Moon Chan decides that she is above this, and who cares? Actually, you know what? QT Moon Chan should have seven entries, shouldn't she? Missed the beat there. Missed the beat there. Sorry, QT Moon Chan. Undo Chan? Oh, oh no, it's Breaker Chan. Breaker Chan decides she's also above this. All right, Eric Chan. Oh, this is the first time Eric has been like eliminated this early. Eric, get the hell off the board. Sorry, Eric. Eric fans in shambles, in shambles. All right, next one, Trash Chan. You know what? I like Trash Chan, but you know, I don't think Trash Chan is anyone's favorite waifu, but you know, she's, she's mid tier, all right? Next one, who's gone now? Bomb Chan, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Bomb Chan explodes, um, hitting Bike Chan and Trolley Chan, but Trolley Chan's invincible, so Trolley Chan is not, is not taken off. Sorry, Bike Chan, that's just how it is. Bike Chan gone. Sorry, Bomb Chan, sorry, Bike Chan, here we go. Next one, Undo Chan. Undo Chan obviously has to be hit twice for it to work. She just says undo, undo, spin again. F oh, oh no. Fido Chan gone. Fido Chan gone. My favorite. God damn it. Wheel Chan. Oh, Wheel Chan. It's a self hating wheel. Wheel Chan has decided to remove herself. Undo. Oh, that's it. Undo Chan's gone. She's been hit twice. That Them's the rules. Them's the rules. Okay. Our three finalist Chans are Patch Chan, Edge Chan, and Trolley Chan. Next one off is Trolley Chan. Damn. Damn. It is between Edge Chan and Patch Chan. Who is Chan of the Day? Chan of the day is Edge Chan. Edge Chan is Chan of the day. It's the most wonderful Chan of the day. Congratulations to Edge Chan and Edge Chan enjoyers. Edge Chan is Chan of the day. That's how the cookie crumbles today. Who gets Chan of the week? Well, we're gonna have to like, uh, you know, <laughs> keep track of all the winners and then do a, a big round at the end of the week, clearly. This is the wrong gamepad. <laughs> is Gravity Rush that bad? I'm having a good time, but chat seems to be finding it a bit boring, which is fine. It's it's a it's a very gameplay heavy game with uh it just it just has like a really fun movement system. It's kind of like Max Payne, and that Max Payne is just based around the same move that just feels really good to do over and over and over again. That like visually can look a little a little boring if you're not the one doing it. Um, so it's kind of like that, and the story is just like a a real like nothing burger. So yeah, I, I get it. I really do. I'm trying to, to, you know, to talk and engage, but it's a, a little hard when the game is not giving me much, which is why we went on a, a, a personal, um, uh, like fitness, uh, rant. Please spend your gem. There's nothing to spend them on. Unfortunately, where are we going? Something about the resting place of, uh, of alias. Is that like the resting place is, uh, the trash compactor? That's right, I remember defeating Alias at the Waste Processing Plant. It's him, I recognize him anywhere. Oh, he's a ghost. Alias, you won't get away with this. My queen, oh, how I've been looking forward to seeing you again. Come grab me and take me away. Huh? Huh? Ah! 
Ah, uh, Nevi! Why is he so scared? Is he the one that called him here? I wonder if we'll have more viewers for tomorrow for Forspoken. I think Forspoken is inherently more interesting because it's like, how can the game be so bad? Is it really as bad as everyone says? Spoilers, it's not, but it is kind of bad. So I think there's some like, like, curiosity there when it comes to it. Whereas no one's curious about this cat. It's actually, it is pretty bad, yeah, but it's not like, you know, worst game ever bad. Like, it's not Binding of Isaac tier bad, you know? Like, it's it's just, you know, whatever. It has Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, Downtime Between the Bad Bits. Yeah, I tr I'm trying to get through as fast as possible, um, but it's a little hard, especially because I want to um, not get too behind, like, uh, the level curve. But it's a weird level curve. It's like, you have, you have to do, like, special abilities to level up your shit. And it's actually important because the bonuses matter a lot. Probably shouldn't have played it on hard, but I like playing games on hard. Like, I still wonder to this day if the reason why I didn't like Nier Tomata's combat is because we didn't play it on hard. Use the new move, please. I want to see how effective it is. I, I don't have it. It's not, it's not active yet. If it becomes active and I'm in a, in a group, then I'll use it. I should probably level it up, too. All right, there it is. All right, it sucks, but maybe it needs to be powered up. Why would you use that over stones? Well, stones is like max level, I think. So, you know, maybe it's much better with, with, um, with XP. Silent Hill 1 and Gravity Rush has the same director, by the way. Um, they're similar in the way that it just, again, it feels more like a proof of concept and with just like a bunch of stuff tacked onto it that are just like, eh, like, I'm not saying it's thoughtless because Silent Hill 1's story and also this story and, and the world is definitely not thoughtless, but it seems very much secondary to the idea of like, oh, what can we do with this movement system? And Silent Hill 1 is very much like, oh, what can we do with this kind of like atmosphere and like the, the, the um, using the PlayStation's draw distance to a disadvantage, that sort of thing. Silent Hill 2 is not like that. Silent Hill 1 is like that. I think most of chat agreed with that actually when we played it. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. I think Silent Hill 1 has more in common with Deadly Premonition than uh, Silent Hill 2 does. Now nah, this just kind of sucks. Got you. Why are you doing this? You better come clean. Finally, it's just the two of us. You and me together. Together. I did all of it for you. Alias is acting weird. Even for Alias. What are you talking about? It's me. Don't you remember? Oh, I forgot about the mask. No wonder you didn't recognize me. You're taking off the mask? Now do you recognize me? Uh, it's your number one fan. You don't know how much I've been looking forward to this. I've spent every waking hour trying to get to know you. I've got every article written about you in a scrapbook and I study all your patterns. Okay, this is really freaking me out. You shouldn't have. Oh, but how could I resist? I, ha I haven't been able to get you out of my mind ever since our fateful first meeting by the Ferris wheel in play June. Do I know this guy? I can't place the face. That's not the point. You entered my house without my permission. You invaded my privacy. I know it was wrong, but you didn't leave me any other choice. Also, it doesn't have a door. I didn't enter your house, actually. I just looked through from above. You after you gave me the cold shoulder, I vowed to give you a sign of my love, something you couldn't ignore, and I came to the conclusion that I had to become the person you couldn't ignore. Alias, I did it all for you. Wait, so this creep is making this all my fault? You went too far and actually used real bombs. I've got no choice. I'm making I'm taking you to the police. You need to pay for the trouble you caused the city. I'll go with you. Maybe with me there, they'll go light on you. You failed the city. <laughs> Love my <-o. laughs> Get fucked, dude. Get fucked. Yeah, so romantic. I'm sorry, I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> have you heard of Played High Fleet? I have not, no. I thought you were throwing me away. Don't think I was tempted. I wouldn't do that. Now hurry up and apologize. Oh, it skipped it for us. All right, cool. This is what we have to do. Wait, this little squirt was the one pretending to be alias? Why? I guess you wanted my attention, so some of it is my fault. I knew she'd never notice me if I didn't do something worthy of her attention, so I decided to become alias. Oh, you know what game's coming out? I think it's coming out today, and it looked interesting. Dredge. Anyone playing Dredge? It's not coming out today. It's coming out next week. It's like a, it's like a horror fishing game. That game looks interesting. I got my dad to give me a year advance on my allowance and I used it all to buy the fireworks for the bombs. I don't want to hurt anyone. The bombs were just for show. Hijacking the broadcast was just a matter of boosting the signal on some equipment at schools. I'm in charge of the audiovisual club, you know. That's amazing. I mean, you shouldn't go around causing panic. The police have better things to do. You get the hideous thing away from me. Is that some kind of monster? It's no, this is no monster. It's Pandora and you're the one who did this. I don't care how young you are. You want to pay for what you did. I already sent your father the bill for the damages. He promised to pass me along your allowance for the next 10 years. 10 years? Now how am I going to afford being the Gravity Queen's number one fan? And here's the bill for the police. My services don't come free. Wait, you can't do that. The boss will never let me expense this. Salary cutting noises. 
Oh man, instant noodles again. You better hope he does. Aki services don't come cheap. I should have known Aki wouldn't do something for free. All right, well, this was a waste of time. That looks awesome. Seems like fun streaming it. Yeah, maybe we'll play it and see how it goes. The false alias was amassed and revealed to be my biggest fan. He had brought the city to a standstill just to be with me. He got what he wanted, but it came with a price. No one escapes the fortune and no one escapes Aki's bill. I never predicted the long journey would I would sooner take, but that's a story for another time. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's still going? My reputation seems to be improving. Kate, Kat's ma maximum power levels have increased. It's been a whole year. Surely the Ark must be back by now. Nah. Oh, I remember you. You're that girl that, uh, that did, uh, you know, well, something, right? She doesn't remember anything. Um, does the girl who can shift gravity ring a bell? Oh, that's what it was. Of course, it's been so long. You have to forgive me, especially with the way things are now. Sometimes it's just better to forget. You know, so we get things that didn't happen the other night. Is anything usual happened the last few days? Like a giant flying devil appearing in the sky? Eh, what are you going on about? If anything like that showed up, my army blow, the army blow it away. My grandson's in the army, you know. I'm glad he found his calling, but he never finds his time to visit his poor old grandmother. And then there's a son of mine. He's working morning, noon, and night over the military factory making weapons. Leave me alone with that wretched wife of his, would you believe? Oh boy, this could be terrible. Uh, that sounds terrible. I better get going. Let me know if you see any giant temples flying in the sky. All right, bye. All right, cool. Like your tier list, you should add another day of the week so you can get through all these games. JPH IQ. Oh, should I just stream every day? I think some of you would hate that. I'm still on the fence about a five-day schedule. I like it, but I don't know if uh, the audience likes it. Think of all the chances of the day we would have if we were having a, a spin every single day. The Lost Shifter has returned. I've been inspecting you. Please, I need your help. Can you use your power to help me find Raven, Zaza, and Cyania? Your wish is my command. Let's see. Um, oh, oh, ho. what is it? What do you see? Well, sometimes... Uh, something seems to be interfering. I can only see bits and pieces. They're close, and yet they are far. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all I got. I see. But hey, that at least means they're out there, right? I guess I just have to be patient and believe they're, they'll return at some point. How about Legend of Zelda Wednesdays on a Sunday? Every Sunday, we slowly play through all of the Legend of Zelda games in order. And then Final Fantasy Fridays on a Monday. There you go. Done. I have non-Joe content I also want to consume. Just open a second window, bruh. Do you like the five day schedule? Yeah. Oh, people like it. All right, cool. All right. I don't think we're going to go to six days, though. Believe it or not, I am still trying to do video work. So, you know, there's that. All right. So we're going there. Oh, we can go talk to this person. All right. You know what? We've done all of the fucking side conversations so far. Let's continue doing them. Did Joe finish Pizza Tower? No, we did not. We're going to, though, at some point. I'm going to get a P rank, too. And not one of the shitty, oh, I got it on a boss ones. We're going to get a proper P rank. Thank goodness the Nevi are gone, but now it looks like the big old 24-hour military parade marching around outside my window. I hear gunshots practically every day. Yeah, I barely recognize the city anymore. It feels like we're being watched too. I've seen them take away people who try to complain. Maybe we're safer with the Nevi. Nah. Oh, did they actually add all these TVs and speakers around the place? That's a nice touch. I would watch Joe be bored of his mind and shitting all over Final Fantasy 14. You know what we should do? If we're going to play Final Fantasy 14, I should honestly have like prepared things to talk about for, for all the fucking downtime. <laughs> While we're doing this, this zone's worth of quests. Let's, let's, let's talk about this topic. What do you think about it? Like, just like, like seriously, like three hours of prep work for every stream. The army took the gravity generator away before we could even finish working on it. Why are you adding me a eh, Christ? Did you say something and then at me afterwards? Nope, it's just the nat. All right, cool. Hey, how's it going? The last message was I would watch Final Fantasy 14 every day, so that might be in the app. Oh, okay. Gravity generated the big round thing that was at the top of the tower. Now they've got us building more weapons. Can you believe that? The old president of our company got hauled off for, me for talking back to them, so we don't have much of a choice but to shut up and do what they say. I mean, you literally live in a post apocalyptic world where monsters will show up out of the ether and try and kill everyone. I'm not saying that they need to go full totalitarian with, like, the fucking, like, like, um, 1984, like, 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 screen on there. But, you know, making weapons is not the worst idea. Like, your defender disappeared for a whole ass year accidentally. Oh, there's new challenges here. Should we do them? Oh, man, we're about to lose 100 viewers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> do, 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 do. Long live Danelica. Den With him in charge, we, we got nothing to fear. Uh, this guy's pretty intense. I better back away. Hail our, our beloved leader. Hail our proud army. A new age has dawned on Hexville. Long live Danelica. Long live Danelica. Man. Totalitarian regimes have done, like, irreparable untold damage to storytelling. The true victim here. Why doesn't the government lady just put gems in the bottom of the world again? That actually get rid of that, That's true, yeah, that would work, yeah. Put a trail. I'll go down. Did we just fix that for them? Uh, yay? Okay. Wait, don't we just do what we're told? Wouldn't we be, like, the best person for them to have right now? Grab objects with zero, with a circle and press zero to throw. Throw them into the goal zone. If you miss the goal zone, the objects will break and won't be counted towards your score. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. 
Well, they ran ideas for these, huh? What if I run into it and throw? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, okay. Why, why even throw? Which Zelda game do you think would make the best stream? Would it be Skyward Sword? Because that's the only one I haven't played. Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask fans would be really finally to see someone uh, excited to see someone finally play it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they would get a long a lot out of that. The CDI game. Oh god, we're not doing that one. How, can you even play that? How do uh, Zelda fans live with the fact that uh, that Zelda CDI is canon? What do we need to get? Six thousand. All right, we're almost there, but it's going to be close. No, pick new ones. Yeah, we didn't do it. All right, whatever. It's close enough. Zelda stream, CDI, the Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild 2. I don't think we're going to be streaming Breath of the Wild. We'll definitely not stream Breath of the Wild 2 at release. Replay the mission for gold? Absolutely not, Chatter. I'm sorry, I can't do it. At really, we're not we're not streaming Breath of the Wild 2 at release. Nope. There you are. I did it. I found your letter. Huh? Do I know you? And what letter? Uh, the letter you sent me for? I, f I found it. See, it's from your boyfriend. Dearest love, soon I will leave your side, though death might part us, or our love will remain for all time, forever yours. Oh, that guy. So hard to remember things from a whole year ago, you know? Listen, sweetie, can you toss that for me? What? But he kept on searching for this letter even after he died, and you sent me halfway down the world to find it. Look, he was a nice guy, but I'm with someone else now. This new fellow is quite the catch, too. He's a real up-and-comer and mayor the Nelica's political party. Anyway, what's your what's past is past, right? Bye-bye. Based. Yeesh, can people change that much in just a year? Here's a long time. This City doesn't look anything like I remember it too. What happened here? Actually, is it? You know what? Saying a year is a long time or not a long time depends on the context of what you're discussing. Just a boyfriend moving on in a year? That's a long time. Moving on from like like an actual big time relationship? Mm, a year is not a long time. I can't believe the letter ended up going nowhere. Sorry, I thought things would be different, but now I'm out of a job. I got swindled. Swindled by who? The new mayor, Danelica. I thought anyone would be better than that idiot, Bolzi. I mean, Danelica really looked like the man who would take charge, but all he did was put all of his energy into the military. Now he's a mess. So what you mean. I used to really like this place. By the way, has Raven been spotted around here lately? Raven, no come to think of it, she vanished around the same time you did. Oh, I see. I guess she isn't back yet. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Maybe they just kept going up. Maybe the arc goes to the other arc, and the other arc piece was in the uh, was up top. So they're just living large. Maybe up top, time moves even faster. So like the, the the further up the tree you get, the faster time moves. So like Raven's gonna be like a, an old lady Raven, and the kids are gonna be like a grown up army now, like uh, like in uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. This was a season finale for one of the new seasons, of Doctor Who that you've not seen. Wow, thank you for the spoilers. Yeah, I can see them doing that. Do you know what the most frustrating thing about Doctor Who is, apart from the bad writing, is when, like, the time machine could obviously solve so many problems, and the Doctor's just like, nah, -uh, not using it, nope, nope, not gonna use it, just go, you have a time machine! Just go in the fucking time machine! Defeat as many enemies as possible in the time limit, increase the time limit by defeating the enemies. I remember they called, they called him out on it too, um, in, in one of the, uh, one of the more serious and actually pretty good episodes, where I think it was with, like, um, uh, Amy and Rory, where, like, Amy just gets absolutely, like, brutally, like, fucked over. Like, a version of her, like, like gets stranded somewhere for, like, a whole lifetime. They even say, like, you know, why, why don't you do, like, a scan before we land or anything? And he's like, you know I don't like doing that, and that's it. <laughs> so it's like, what do you mean? Like, do a fucking scan. Like, how do, like, what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> it's one of the darkest episodes, too, because he's just so quick to abandon it. Like, just like, fuck it, we're going. I think that was Matt Smith's arc, right? Or was it Capaldi? Favorite Doctor Who episode is Heaven Sent. Heaven Sent is not just one of the best Doctor Who episodes, sorry, it's not just the best Doctor Who episode, it's one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen, period. Uh, if we're talking about like a more traditional episode, um, I really, really love the, um, the first episode that Matt Smith had, the 11th hour. I really like that episode a lot. Unfortunately, it set a really bad precedent for, uh, for, for Matt Smith's arc. That maybe was intentional, or maybe Moffat realized he had to like actually like call attention to it, which was um, the Doctor just talking people down because he's like, "You really want to go against me? I'm the Doctor. I have no plan, but you know I'm gonna win." And everyone's like, "Oh fuck, you know, it's not looking good, sir. They're gonna cancel our sponsor, you know, like." Um, and they have to like uh, like like turn that into like he got too big for his britches as it went on, or is it britches? How do you say that? Um, but the first time he did it there it was pretty good, I think. Oh, well, Tenet did it a couple times too. Did you watch the episode where the moon was an egg? Yes, of course I did. That is maybe the worst episode they ever did. The moon is an egg! Oh no, it's hatching! And for some reason, it's losing mass as it's hatching! Oh no, or is it gaining mass? Oh no! Okay, it's going! Alright. Oh, before it left, it laid an identically sized egg! 
in the same spot that has the same mass and the same orbital trajectory. It's fine, don't worry. Like, <laughs> this is stupid fucking episode. <laughs> what? Yeah, off camera too. You don't even like like see like the the moon form or anything. They just like turn around and then like the the, the big alien that hatched out of the egg is gone. And then they they like cut to the characters talking. And then when they cut back, the moon's back. And there's another egg there because it laid another egg before it was gone. And the biggest crime that the episode commits, the absolute biggest crime, is that as the egg is hatching, a bunch of little, like, 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 what's supposed to be, like, bacteria that's coming out of the egg, that's like, like, a, a, like, um, like, like a leech or whatever, like a parasite of, of what's in the egg, are, like, running over the moon, and they look kind of like, like, insects, and they do not call them lunar ticks. The biggest crime, they do not call them lunar ticks. What the fuck were they thinking? That's another one where the doctor just fucks off. So basically, basically the, the they, they sent like a science team up to the moon. I'm, I'm barely remembering this by the way, so I might get some of this wrong. So apologies if I do. They send a science team up to the moon in, because the, the moon's gravity is fucked up and it's like causing like major devastation back on earth. The year is like, I don't know, it's like 2140 or something. I don't know, like it's it's some it's a little bit in the future. So they send a team up to the, to the moon to like, um, to see what's going on. And while they're up there, they realize that they can they can save everything and like and undo the the damage if they just like kill kill whatever's in the egg before it hatches and then it can't move on, right? So that's what they're they're gonna do. And the doctor's like, I can't believe you would want to kill this thing. It's a fucking creature. Like what? What? what, what? Fucking Clara, Clara, are you really gonna let this happen, Clara? Like, 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 and it's like, what, what the fuck? What do we want? What do we want them to do? Like, the, like, Earth is gonna be destabilized, gonna fall into the fucking like, like sun. Like, like, what? What do you, what do you just go on without the fucking? Look, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like, why don't you like bring a solution to the table then, fucking genius, fucking doctor? And then Clara's like, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like let let Earth vote. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna tell everyone to um, like turn their lights off worldwide if you want to save the the thing in the egg, or like turn leave the lights on if you want to kill it and save the planet and like at this point the doctor is fucked off because he's so disgusted at the even possibility of, of humanity you know trying to save their planet by killing this creature in, in the egg and then humanity turns their lights off and they let the egg, egg hatch and the doctor comes back and i think he's like oh i'm proud that you made the right decision and look it all worked out in the end because he because he just laid another fucking egg before the, the, the alien fucked off you know it's like it's fucking stupid it's the worst episode no they voted did they vote to kill it i thought they voted to, to save it so wait, did they did they vote to kill it? And Clara's like, "Fuck you! This isn't a democracy." I think that's the worst episode. Although there is also the episode where where this is a kid show, okay? There's an episode that that the Doctor is only in it for like a second, and it's about like a team of like like Doctor Who fans, and they're like Doctor Who like crazy fan club. This was in I think like the David Tennant line, um, and. It turns out that one of them is, an, is secretly an alien trying to get close to the Doctor through the Doctor Who fan club, and like one of one of the Doctor the Doctor Who fans gets like melted into a slab of like concrete on on the ground, and she's just like a face that's stuck to like a, a slab of concrete, like a, like a stepping stone. And remember, this is a kids show, and at the end of it, it's showing like where are they now, and it shows that, that like she's still alive and she's with her boyfriend that was also part of the group. And one of the last lines it says, you know, you know, it's hard, but we get along. And she says, and we even have a love life. And he just awkwardly looks at the camera like, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> in a, yeah, in a kid's a kid's show, mostly. Maybe it's not now. Is it bad? I thought Doctor Who was for adults. It's for, it's for young adults kids. You know, it, it goes back and forth a little bit. Are we done? Oh, we're so done. What am I doing? What show is this again? This is Doctor Who. Blink is also a masterpiece. Yeah, I like Blink a lot too. Blink is really good. Girl in the Fireplace. All of the Moffat episodes before Moffat took over were bangers. I don't think Moffat had a single bad, bad episode before he took over. And when he took over, I, I think his run was pretty good. Moffat's run was better than, 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 than Davies, for sure. And I will die on this hill. I will die hard on this hill. Moffat is a great writer, but an awful showrunner. I agree that he's an awful showrunner, but he's still better than Davies at being a showrunner. Doctor Who has not had a good showrunner. What's the episode where the TARDIS is personified as a girl? Is that the Doctor's wife? I think, I think, uh, yeah, where they turn, they chanify the TARDIS, yeah. TARDIS shit, like, they, they legitimately chanify the fucking time machine, yeah. She was pretty too. Thoughts on BBC Sherlock? Hot take, and I know this is a hot take, I like it. I like it a lot. 
I do think, I don't think it's like high art television or whatever, but I like it. It's very entertaining. I like BBC Sherlock. I think it commits a lot of crimes, but I think it's pretty entertaining. All of it? Okay, I'm not committing to all of it. Even like episode two of the first season is already pretty bad. And later on it gets kind of stupid and there's some really dumb moments, but I still like it. It's entertaining. It's uh, highly stylized. It's very much like anime. It's British anime. A peon house MD. Anyone else just getting flooded with house shorts on YouTube lately? Are they rebooting the series or something? Every time I go through my YouTube list, it's just house shorts, just like like all over the shop. Pass through every checkpoint and complete the race. Use every guard trick and disposal to win. Okay. Are you insane? What for the Sherlock take? It's 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 fun. What's wrong with Sherlock? Do you know do you know how critically acclaimed that show was at first? Sherlock got worse every season? Eh, I don't know if I agree about that. I think maybe season two was the best. I don't, I've only ever watched them once. Season four is so dumb. Yes, and? All right, did we do it? Yes! The finale was so bad that the fan base uh, convinced itself it was a huge prank. I don't remember the finale. Did I watch it? Unironically, Elementary is the best Sherlock property. I enjoyed Elementary. I don't. Re I didn't finish it though. Uh, I can't remember how far Lily and I got into it. All right, here's the crime. Here's the crime that Elementary committed though. They fucking cast Natalie Dormer as Moriarty, who like nailed it, is smoking fucking hot, and she never comes back. Fuck you, Elementary. She, she's never in it again. Season one or season two or whatever, fucking Natalie Dormer as Moriarty. And it's like just fucking nothing. They couldn't afford her? Fucking hell, man. They should have known that. They should have shamanoed. She's not that big, is she? Just because she got on Game of Thrones. I don't remember the end of Sherlock. All right, Sherlock, Sh BBC Sherlock. Uh, Season, what, season, is it four? Season four was the last one? 2017? I don't remember it. I kind of remember it now. Yeah, I, I don't re I, th I remember thinking it was kind of stupid. Sh hey, Sherlock has committed many crimes, all right? Like, actually, you know, literally on the show, but also, like, like, like in terms of narrative and writing or whatever, no one here is saying, well, maybe some people in chat are saying, I am not saying that Sherlock is a great show. I just think it's entertaining and fun. That's it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I've said the whole entire time, okay? Like, Sherlock, like, they, Moffat wrote himself into a fucking corner and was like, oh, at the end of, I think, season two? All right, spoilers for Sherlock. What's the end of the season where he just jumps off the fucking hospital roof? Is, is that the end of season two? Like, and, like, I, not only do I did, did it was fucking obvious that they didn't know what they were gonna do the motherfucker even said like Moffat's on record saying that before he started writing season three him and his fucking buddy had to go to the pub and, and they sat down and were like all right so how are we gonna get ourselves out of this mess then they, they had no idea what the fuck they were doing to this day I still don't know why Moriarty shot himself in the head on the roof like I don't get it like I, I just don't get it and then at the end of season three it, it, it's another thing I don't get it too he's like in he's fucking like um who's the actor that plays uh, the the new main bad guy who you think has this fucking his, his has special fucking computer glasses and it turns out no it, like we were lying he just does that in his head la mayo like whoever the fuck that guy Magnus or whatever what would the fuck was his name all right so, like, at the end of that, right, he's fucking, like, so Sherlock has been completely and utterly checkmated because this guy is lord of the blackmail. He's black blackmail lord of, of Britain, maybe even the world. He has dirt on everyone, Lamayo, and Sherlock can't touch him. <laughs> you, you thought that I had physical records? No, it's just all in my mind, and I'm, and, like, and that's it. And if anyone hurts me, it's all gonna be released and all this fucking shit. So at the end of it, right, like, like, Sherlock is completely checkmated. So what the Sherlock Sherlock do to get out of this he pulls out a gun and shoots him in the head and it's like motherfucker like how did he not have any contingency plan at all of like oh shit you just fucked over everyone like if that was an option why didn't someone do that before like it's, it's just like fucking stupid and then Sherlock's going to prison now and then this first episode of the next season it's like Lamayo no we need you to do something else instead sorry you're not going to prison just now because we need you it's really important it's just so dumb, but it's really, it's really entertaining. It's stupid and dumb, but like, I like it. Make your way from airboat to airboat as you race toward the goal. Be careful not to let any of the moving checkpoints slip along the way. The big moments are pretty bad.
Sorry, I'm gaming. Yay! First time gold. I'm exclusively saying it can be enjoyed to turn your brain off, but it is so ga it's a it's a goddamn travesty if you take it seriously in any form or have a critical thought about how they handle overarching plots. I would like if it was a if it if I was a child or a Xenoblade 2 fan. Oh, but 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 Kay, you are a Xenoblade 2 fan. It's like sometimes it's it's really stupid in terms of internal consistency about the knowledge that Sherlock has. Like I think it's within two episodes maybe, he he, he recognizes like. Like he 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 like licks some dirt on some boot, or like looks at it and recognizes that that there's only one part in all of London where like the brick color like with construction matches up where the fucking like the color of the mud when it's mixed in that he knows exactly where these kids are being fucking held. Like he he knows so much about like the color of different kinds of fucking mud that are currently going on in construction. But he also forgot all the names of the fucking planets. Because, and I quote, that wasn't useful enough, I deleted it. But, you know, like, dust and dirt on mud trivia might be fucking, like, oh, important at some point for a case. But, you know, there's not going to be any fucking clue or puzzle from a serial color but the names of the fucking planets. The mud and planet stuff is actually from the books, for once, not Moffat's fault. Okay, you know what? Then maybe the books are dumb, too. I have them all upstairs. I should read them. Cat, cat, is this Eric? Is that you? We've been worried about you. It's been ages. Cat, it's so good to see you. We thought something bad happened. Who the fuck are you? Newt. Oh, Newt Neko. I'm sorry I worried you. Actually, I have to ask something. Have either of you seen or looked anything about the flying giant, giant flying temple or heard any rumors about one? A giant flying temple. No, I can't say I heard anything about that. How about you, Echo? Echo. No, sorry, sorry. Haven't heard a thing. Thing. Oh, hey, where are you guys headed? Oh, well, we're just off to join some military exercises. Oh, did you guys join the army? No, everyone's conscripted. No, it's part of the new school, school curriculum. All the students have to go, even if they don't want to, and we don't. Hush. You don't want any of the teachers to be hear you talking like that. You'd be expelled, expelled. Man, Hexville really has really changed. Even the schools are different. Do you know I've already been expelled? If I'm to be expelled. Side mission, special forces pack. Okay, are we going to join the military? You should watch the Sherlock anime. It fixes the bad writing problem by adding very handed... Uh, very heavy-handed social commentary, but I've already seen the live action Why would I want to see the anime that the live action is based on? I think the uh, the Sherlock Holmes movies with Robbie Di Robert Downey Jr. is pretty good again entertaining Discombobulate. Yeah, I like that scene. It gets memed on a little bit, but I really like that scene Kerbal Space Program Fridays on Saturdays on a Sunday every Monday after sort of spoken after Atomic Heart You don't need to do maths. It's your type of game. I will not stop asking. I don't know. I'm on the fence Maybe we'll see. I'm giving I'm, I'm non-committal how much of a plot hole is tolerable, tolerable for a show not to be trash, and how much is too much? It depends. Um, if a plot hole is easily filled by something, like I, like like some like headcanon explanation I can add, I will try and do that and move on, but I also get annoyed that the writers didn't do that. Um, if a plot hole is like completely nonsensical, like like on the level, like, like let's say like for no reason Superman just takes a bullet in the head and and, and, and it, it's not kryptonite and, and he gets hurt from it, it's like, well, what the fuck is going on? Like if it, if it breaks its own internal rules, that sort of thing, um, um, then I can get really really annoyed and it has to be doing it for a really good reason um, If that's the case, you know, all right, we're doing slides. I can usually let a lot of plot holes go if it's for a good reason I get really really annoyed uh, When there's a plot hole and it wasn't even for like a good result. It's like, okay You ruined the consistency of your story like you ruined your own rules You know you broke all consistency whatsoever and it wasn't even for something that was like good like what the fuck are you doing? Do, 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 do. Easy, easy, man. These are pretty easy, man. Uh, season three of Sherlock does this really poorly when um, they set up something. They set up an imperfect answer for how Sherlock jumped off the, the roof, and then they present it, and then they straw man the audience that is not going to buy it with some craved, rave, crazed, raving lunatic starting to poke holes in it and being like, ha ha ha, you don't want to be like this, do you? Just shut up and accept what we said to you, you idiot. So that was really annoying. I'm gonna guess that actually pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> that was where the uh, the Sherlock hate, hate train started. <laughs> All right, let's do the side quest and get the new, uh, the new costume. <laughs> Special Forces Headquarters, this looks like the right place. Hey, you there, this area is off limits to civilians. All right, so we got we got a maid costume, we got a school costume, we got a cat costume. Is this the bunny costume? What's this guy's problem? I'm cat, I'm here to see the Yuri Jerno, the commander of Special Forces. Did you say cat? So you're a shifter, huh? Hold on, beep. Yes, sir, understood, sir, send her right away. Click, the commander is waiting on the, waiting on the battleship. You can go inside, we'll issue you a visitor's pass. A visitor's pass, that seems kind of formal, all right.
Oh, maybe we're gonna dress like that. The rules of war. Yuri should be on the bridge. I take it asking about Witcher 3 is off limits. It's not off limits, you're just not gonna get an answer. Have you come around to the idea of enlisting Shifter? Well, I'm not sure yet, but so much has happened in the last year. I wanted to find out more about what's been going on since I was away. All right, let me fill you in then. When Danelica came to power about a year ago, we received the go-ahead to form the Jellyfish Special Forces Unit to better respond to the growing Nevi threat. Thanks to us, the Nevi aren't a problem anymore. You're not going to be a problem, are you? What are these faces? What are you talking about? Why would I be a problem? Sea Wasp, stand down. Sea Wasp, stand down! The jellyfish can use all the help we can get, and the shifter would make a powerful ally. My apologies, sir. Although the Nevi threat has been contained, their behavior is so unpredictable that we can't rest until the last of their kinds is eradicated. Should we use someone like you, and I think you'll find it easier to understand the changes that have occurred to Hexville from the inside, it would be nice to fight alongside someone for a change. Alright, I'll take you up on your offer. Excellent. Sea Wasp, prepare a uniform for the new recruit and take her through basic training. Yes, sir. Come with me for your uniform. It has bunny ears. Don't, don't question it. Okay, like actually joining the you know the group is is weird all right pretty good i feel so professional in this thing it fits like a glove what do you think do i look good in uniform i'll expect you to obey my orders now follow me to basic training she's always so on edge basic training permit is everything ready yes the training ground is ready you're free to begin the trial roger that come with me shifter i'll explain the rules when we get there now let's go over the rules. The following ritual is designed to test your combat reflexes. Nevi dummies have been set up throughout the area. Dummies, by more to use to find the real thing. Soldiers must maintain composure in the face of any challenge. You can't let things get out of control. That kind of attitude isn't just dangerous to you, it's dangerous to everyone around you. I'm not dangerous, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I just need to complete the trial, right? Damn, already falling in line. It's like she's talking to herself. You don't need to do anything. If you want to quit, feel free to go home. Why does she have to be so mean all the time? I'm not going anywhere. The, co the combat readiness trial is conducted in pairs in order to bring out the best and new recruits through competition. I'll be your partner today. Lucky me. All right, let's just get this started. I'm always ready for action. Hmph. Permet, our new recruit says she's ready. Begin the trial. Roger that. Commencing the trial. Navy dummies are ready for deployment. Okay. Oh no, the real thing is shown up. Destroy the Navy dummies in this combat trial. The participant who destroys the most dummies wins. <laughs> Doom Eternal Director said they would like to go somewhere with the Doom guy. As much change as Eternal compared to 2016, where would you like Doom to go if they did that? Um, I haven't played the DLC, um, so I don't know what they're talking about. But, like, do they want to make it more of a story? They want a Doom guy RPG? Doom guy VN? Like, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from, though, because I don't know how you could build on Eternal. But I said, you know, I would have probably said the same thing before playing Eternal about 2016. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I don't give myself enough credit. I don't know. Doom Eternal is a really good game. And I guess they just can't keep making more of Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal roguelike? My guess is they're trying to make it a more cinematic story and make the the, the, the Doom guy more of a of a character. Is, is That's my read on what was just said to me in chat. Which maybe might not be a quote. It might be just paraphrasing. I don't know. But that's that's what I would assume that would mean. Open world Doom... Oh, God. <laughs> you found the Korok demon. Wait, was someone yelling? Meow, I can't, but I can't leave now. She'll, they'll think I left the trial. I'll be that special forces. I know, I know. It's not my nature to go do someone in trouble. Hold on. What? What do you want me to do? Uh, who are you? I don't recognize you. A new recruit? Where are you hurt? Is it serious? Better get you to hospital. No, you, I, you can't do that. I'm in the middle of an important mission. I was just promoted to the special forces. I can't let them down now. What are you talking about? We would follow a strict code. Once underway, the mission takes first priority. Or just to fight the pain. Sounds like you're losing that fight. And look at you. You can barely move. You need to that wound looked after. I need to get this message to the commander. This is my chance to get noticed. How about I help you? I just have to deliver you and the message to the commander, right? No, I can't let you do that. If they saw a new recruit helping me, I'd never hear the end of it. We'll just have to keep that between ourselves then. Besides, what good are you going to get? Going to be to the jellyfish if you let that injury get worse? Just let me help i want you to deliver the message you get yourself to a hospital aren't they like tracking me because they know that the shifter is in the lead commander i have an important order straight for the central government for your eyes why are we st we're sticking around just leave good work soldier these orders are crucial to the next step of our plan if these fall in the hands of the resistance resistance thank you sir but i can't take all the credit if he tells him I helped, he might be in trouble. Commander, the soldier is hurt. Is there a doctor on board who can look after his injuries? Shifter, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be undergoing basic training with Sea Wasp? Commander, I'm afraid I have bad news to report about a new recruit. Uh oh, here it comes. The shifter left in the middle of basic training. I recommend the candidate for immediate dishonorable discharge. If I tell him the truth now, I'll get the soldier in trouble. Well, I guess this, if that's your decision, I don't have any choice but to just take this uniform and leave. Thank you for the clothes. Commander, abnormal gravity fluctuations are occurring around Veta Center. We got Nevi inbound. Brace for impact. Nevi here. Oh no.
IMO Doom Guy works best without a face. Yeah, I think uh, Master Chief is the same way too. Like, we don't need to have this be a deep character, you know? There can just be a story going on around them if you really want a story. Remember in the beginning of- oh, I just skipped the cutscene. Remember the beginning of 2016, it makes fun of cinematics and getting angry at them by having the Doom Guy punch it instead of having it, and then goes on to make you sit through a bunch of cinematics afterwards? What, what, what great gaming. I remember all the reviews that said it was great how it ignored the story when it didn't. It just it made you sit through it and they just forgot or probably just didn't get that far. Reports of the Navy are coming in from all over the Veta Center. Citizens have been ordered to evacuate. The local authorities have requested assistance from the jellyfish. That guy's voice was cool though. Nevi, we have to get there and help those people. Evacuation of civilians takes first priority. Do your best to keep collateral damage to a minimum. Sea Wasp, do whatever you can to keep the Nevi from spreading through downtown. Then back, then back the rescue forces if you can. Roger that, heading out. I'm not Roger. Shifter, basic training's over. It's time to see how you handle real action. From now on, your code name is Seacat. Seacat, get yourself downtown and rescue any stranded civilians. Seacat, that's kind of a weird name. Yes, sir, heading out. Meow. Beep. Civilians spotted downtown around Main Street. Seacat, head down the race up. It's Alias! Seacat, oh, that's me. Roger that, ma'am. Heading out. The closest evacuation zone is the Loop, Loop Line Station. When you've secured the civilians, escort them there. The area above the building skyline is off limits. It'll be under heavy fire. We can't afford to have any civilian casualties. Roger. I'll stay low and evacuating the people in Loop Side. Okay, we, we didn't need this. Just put just put the, 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 the waypoint on and just let me go. Alright, escort the citizens to safety. Alright, here they are. They're right here. I can only take them one at a time, really? Ever watched Mad Men? I have not, but I wanted to. Maybe one day I will do it. I've seen the first episode, and I thought I thought the first episode had a really good um, twist at the beginning. I appreciated it. All right, how do I how do I drop them? Where's the other one? It's over here, right? I love Mad Men Breaker better than Breaking Bad. Oof, oof, that's a take. I mean, I haven't watched it, so maybe you're right. I think Breaking Bad is a little overrated, to be honest. I think it's great. I mean, it's really good. It's definitely better than fucking BBC Sherlock, but like I don't think it's like the greatest show ever and completely flawless. I think it's really good. Beep. Civilian spotted near Loop Line Loop Line Station number two. Sea Cat head out there ASAP. Multiple Navy sightings have been reporting in that area. Roger, heading out. Come on, Dusty, we better hurry. Meow. I like Better Call Saul more. I haven't seen it yet. It's done though, right? I can watch it now. I usually wait until shows are done. Where's the flaws though? I've spoken about a couple of them before and I've only watched it once. So I want to refresh before I go hard and go ham on Breaking Bad. But one I will say, which is kind of like, kind of mild to moderate spoilers. But like, if you know anything about Breaking Bad, you know that, you know, like Walter gets in the shit, you know? Like to me, as the seasons go on, him being like, you know, say my name. And like, I, I it just, I didn't buy it. He, he never stopped really being the goofy guy to me and just like, just getting through shit uh, just barely by the skin of his teeth. I, I, it just, it didn't ring true to me. Oh no, I dropped them. That's the point, is it? I don't think that is the point. How is it the point? I, my read that the show was trying to, to, to sell this is like, look at the transformation. Like, because the other characters in the scenes are going along with it and be like, oh, fucking, this doesn't look good, sir. Our sponsors. He was read to be pathetic by the audience. At the beginning, yes. But by like, I'm the one who knocks, say my name, really? I don't think so. Did you like the fly episode? I like the fly episode, yeah. I don't think there's a single episode of Breaking Bad that I dislike. Maybe one of the early ones. I don't know. Like, I like the show. It's a really good show. I don't understand the rules of when I get knocked out of uh, my ultimate ability. Did you not like the one? I'm the one who knocks you. No, I didn't. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was badass at all. Like I thought it was cringe. That was. That wasn't the point. What do you mean that was the point? I really don't agree with this at all. No fucking way. If that. If that's the point, why are there like literal gangsters? That like that have guns and drug dealers, and he shows up like he's Doctor Fucking Who, and says, "You know who I am. You know I'm capable of saying my name." And they all back down, like like the people who are dangerous in the universe respect this man and are scared of him. And like it just doesn't it doesn't fucking ring true to me at all. Oh shit, we can't go high. Also, okay, you know what? There was a part of it that I really disliked. We all hate the plane thing, right? That was fucking stupid. That, okay, that's the only thing in the whole thing that was fucking stupid. I want my mommy and daddy. I'm so scared. That was fucking dumb. 
Everything's gonna be okay. Your mommy and daddy are probably waiting for inside for you. Thank you, soldier lady. I'm so glad you're here for us, especially after the gravity girl went away. I wanna be a soldier like you someday. She doesn't know who I am. She really thinks I'm just another soldier. You can be anything you want. I'm sorry I used to think you were scary, but I don't think that anymore. Thank you for saving me. We didn't we didn't get that kid back his house yet, did we? You're welcome. Now go find your mommy and daddy. That kid is still it's still missing too. Beep. Nevi encountered near the plaza evacuation zone. We don't have enough troops in the area to hold them off. The Nevi are breaking through the perimeter. Right, hang to the plaza now. The battleship and sea wasp will deal with the Nevi about the, ski, the, the city skyline. Sea cat, guard the entrance to the evacuation zone. Leave it to me. The the end of... It's season two, isn't it? The plane thing. The plane thing, like, just makes me wonder how shit even gets made at all. That there was, like, big collaborative projects. So much, like, like um, stuff backing it. How many, how many people did that have to get through to get approved on so many levels? Like the act, someone had to write the dialogue, the actors had to perform it, they had to set it all up. Like how, how at any stage of the way, was there not any pushback going, what the fuck are we doing? It's just like, <laughs> it wasn't that, it was that bad. That was, it was so stupid. Like, especially compared to how like high quality the rest of it is. That was BBC Sherlock bad, okay? Man, I need to have a. I need to get a podcast where we talk about TV and movies. It'll. It'll. It's just me. I'll. I'll do. I'll voice both characters, and we'll just sit there and agree. Actually, you know what? It, I would disagree with myself. First episode, we're starting with a banger. First episode's top topic: Stranger Things gets better every season. Here we go. Let's just start it off strong. Okay, what are we going to be doing? Ignore the ground ones. Oh, keep the. Okay, there are no non-ground ones now. Sea cat, sea cat. The plaza has been contained. Well, this is fun. Not gonna lie, it doesn't get worse with each episode. It starts off strong at minus one out of ten garbage from episode one. It stays this way until season four, episode nine. Wait, what are you talking about? Stranger thing. My chatter just like sitting on there hating on Stranger Things. What what is what is this? It starts off at a minus one out of ten garbage and and stays this way all the way to the end. My, my dude, you thought it was a minus one out of ten and you watched it all? Sea Cat, you did well on your first mission. I can see you've gained yourselves a valuable ally. I got I got to thank you all. A little girl told me about all all good you've done. You were there for the city when it wasn't when I wasn't. Gratitude is a rare award for a soldier. Treasure it. There are many civilians who don't support us or the new government. Did you have a good reason to watch it all? But at the end of the day, we have a fight for what we believe in. Sea Cat, we were about to undertake an important operation. I hope you can join us in seeing it through. I dislike season one, but not as much as one guy. I didn't like enough to finish, but I wouldn't call it a minus one. People disliking, like, isn't isn't the opposite take of mine that season one was the best? Damn, damn. Sometimes you hate watch things. Yeah, it's true. I hate Shadow of the Colossus and I played it twice. What? Ooh, I, 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 I don't know which part of that I I I'm like what you hate Shadow of the Colossus, but you played it twice. Why? Like okay, I could hate watching something. I get it, but like hate hate gaming. Why would you play it twice? Sea Wasp seems kind of upset. I've been mean, meaning to ask, but Sea Wasp and Sea Cat are code names, right? So what's your real name? It's just what, what, what you know. Uh, Wasp B. I'm a soldier and only soldier. Sea Wasp was the only name I need. I I, I see. Well, Sea Wasp it is then. My name is Wasp. Her name is Unica. Commander, with all due respect, Unica, I know it hasn't been easy growing up in these special circumstances, but I hope you can learn to get to work together with, with Sea Cat. I'm sure the two of you will make me proud. Yes, sir. Sea Cat, that goes for you too. I expect that you and Sea Wasp to set an example for the troops. It's also day dismissed. So Sea Wasp's name is Unica, huh? It's actually kind of cute. And they were roommates. Yes, sir. Come on, Dusty. Let's go home for some R&R. &R. Meow. So I ended my first mission as Sea Cat, the newest member of he Hexville Special Forces, the Jellyfish. They were there for Hexville when I wasn't, and I had them to, had to thank them for keeping the sea safe. Yeah, true. I would later find that safety can come at a cost, but there's another story for another time. I liked Near Automata, and then realized that I hate hate it the second time I played through all routes. Okay, that is a very funny way of wording that. What do you mean you realize you hate it? Like I could see you saying I I liked Near Automata, and then through the second route, you know, like I I decided I didn't like it anymore. But like the way you worded it there is like you realized, you know, you know what? I hated it the whole time. <laughs> Gravity Star. Is the top one gonna be Gravity Queen? Okay, I really don't wanna do another side quest, man. Let's do the main quest. 
Let me know. I know it's stupid. I hated the game because of the stupid controls and how empty the world was. This is about Shadow Colossus, by the way. It didn't vibe with me. Okay, I get that. But you have to understand that people have been hyping this game up for literal years. So when I beat it the first time and hated it, I generally thought I missed something. I played it again because I thought it was somehow I had fucked it up. I think I was supposed to do. Okay, th that's fair. But that's not what you said before. The, said, the thing you said before is like, oh, hate watching, hate, hate playing. Like, oh, here I go. I'm going to hate this and I'm going to enjoy myself. Okay, that's fair. All right, you've explained it now. Oh no, my letter. What's with this guy? He seems so nervous. Are you looking for something? You're the Gravity Queen. Oh, wonderful. You've been gone for so long. What has it been? A year? Yeah, I guess it has, hasn't it? People still remember me after all this time. How we could forget? My name is Andre. Everyone's been waiting for the Queen to make her triumphant return. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'm glad to have made such an impression. It's hard to believe a whole year has passed. By the way, did you need help with something? Or, oh yes, please. I dropped something critical to my research. The boss is going to kill me. It's a letter. Uh oh, I hope this turns out better than the last t time someone dropped something oh what did you drop my case with all my data i was transferred to the military research after the change in government and that new boss of mine never gets off my back yeah things feel different with the military ramping up everyone in hexville seems a little on edge anyway a case huh no worries i'll find it for you oh thank you without the case like that case my job is toast man to think i'd be the first person in the gravity queen would help after her year off no no i d helped a lot, a lot of people on the way here haha <laughs> well it's a long story but i'm back and i'm happy to help this is this is a bad guy for sure andre on call okay Thank you, you really saved my, my bacon. Oh, it's full of bacon. I don't know how the city managed to survive without you so long. Oh, it was nothing. I did bring your case back, but what a wonderful job you did of it. Now, I hate to ask this of you, but I have another small favor. Could you set these sensors up for me? Sensors, sorry, before that, I got to warn you that I saw some Nevi. Exactly, Nevi are what I'm out here researching. Really? Yes, a disturbance was discovered in the gravitational field near one of the rumored Nevi hotspots. And that nasty boss of mine sent me out to, into the thick of it to, dis to investigate the link between the gravitational disturbances and the Nevi appearances. Seems a little cruel to send me out into danger to gather data for an experiment, doesn't it? I could be killed, or even worse, expelled. Of course, I over. If I return without any data, my boss will just kill me all the same. Your boss is that bad, huh? Well, if you just need some sensor set up, right? Hey, if it's good for the city, I'll take care of it. You're out here alone? You will? I'd be forever in your debt, my queen. Rest assured, the data we get today will go a long way towards keeping Hexville safe in the future. Hmm, I wonder what we're doing right now. Hmm. Sensors. Moody, depressed, goth Fido, tidy, goth, uh, big, big, tidy, goth Fido. What is chat riffing right now? Gary Rush is really poor. <laughs> Feel this game is one good concept that's way too stretched out. Yeah, it's, it for sure is. Yeah, but I still like it. It's interesting to me, but yeah, for sure. That's why I'm hoping that the sequel's way better. Spoilers, it won't be. It's literally better than every way. Yeah, but that can be true. And it could still be like a six out of 10 compared to this five out of 10. Incrementally better in every way. Incremental progress. Welcome back. I'm terribly sorry to, about this, but there's a teeny tiny little favor I still have to ask. You see, I forgot to flip the switch on one of the sensors. I hate to be a bother, but could you go back and turn on for me? All right, sure. It did seem kind of funny that it wasn't working like the others when I set it up. Curse my scattered brain. It's the source of so much trouble. And where there's trouble, you can get, bet my boss will be there to give me grief for it. Uh, I wish I could get my act together. Gordon Freeman. Uh, hey, everyone makes mistakes. Don't beat yourself up about it. I just have to flip a switch, right? Sit tight and I'll be right back. I've made a lot of mistakes if the tier list yesterday is to, is, uh, to be believed. There, turned it on. Oh no, it's it's causing the Nevi. Love score spoken. That takes care of that, but why did they appear like that? Uh-oh. We're gonna rip the gravitational thing open even more. Hey, Andre, I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what, but the moment I flipped that switch, I got swarmed by Nevi. Oh, that. I knew there was something I forgot to mention. Well, you see, the sensor pulls out a weak gravitational field that seems to draw the Nevi in like flies to honey. The problem was first recognizing during the prototype phase, and it never got fixed. Well, after all the costs were considered, it was decided we just take our chances with the version we had and to work on improving it with the next revision. Even knowing that, you sent me out here alone? Just one of my many woes. Oh, sorry, you were sent out here alone? Anyway, I hate to ask this. After all the trouble you had with the last sensor, but there's actually one more sensor I need to set up. What, another one? You know, I realize this is none of my business, but if you're so forgetful, maybe you should consider a different line of work? Whoa! Oh, I know, I know, but if you don't help me, I'll be fired before I even get the chance to look for a new job. Thrown into the sewer to live like a bum. Wait, I live in the sewer. I live in the sewer. All right, all right, I'll do it. There's nothing else you're forgetting. It's not just one more. It's just one more sensor. Okay. This quest is really annoying. Any interest in playing Deep Rock Galactic? Not really. Would I like that? It looked a little interesting, I guess. Looks a bit Reddit core to me. 
so fun. Okay, Redditor. <laughs> um, sometimes I like games like that. It's pretty fun solo, is it? It's getting a, a survivor's like. That could be fun. Oh, it's one of these things. Great. I think this game is a great example of how enemy variety can end up not mattering at all because the way that you engage with every monster is the exact same thing, and that is gravity rush to the right angle and then hit the square button. Like, it literally does not matter, really, that these, these look different, you know? It's kind of a shame, because some of them look, look decent. And I like that it's just not the same looking enemy over and over and over again, like in uh, Deadly Premonition. Actually, you know what? D would we really want that? <laughs> Maybe we don't want to mess with that. All right, time for you to spawn a big monster or cause some tragedy. Here we go. Andre, why is there another sensor over there? Don't tell me. Oh, that old thing? Don't worry. It's just a spare. <sighs> I don't even think it works, to be honest. Thanks to you, I got all the data I need. Wait, why are you talking like that, Andre? Oh, no reason at all. I'm evil, Andre, and that few. I was afraid you forgot something again. I don't think I could have handled another trip out there. Sorry to have worried you like that. In any case, I suppose I'd better get started blowing, blowing these sensors up. Blowing the sensors up. Sky high. I can't leave them running, right? They'd draw more Nevi, and my boss would have a fit. What a waste. Wasn't there an easier way to shut them off? I love when science ends with a bang. Thank you, Cat. You've been a real gem. This data will go a long way towards helping protect our fair city. Oh no! That can't be good. Oh no what? I'll never make my airboat on time. If I don't get there soon, it'll leave without me. Can you t take me to the top of the clock tower? I promise it's the last thing I'll ask of you. Please, you can't turn me down now after all this work. You know the military and the schedules. Oh no! I left my keys back there. Can you go get my keys to my apartment? Oh no! I've fallen down. I can't open my door. Can you open it for me? Oh no! I'm late for dinner. Sigh. Alright, you take the clock tower. You better keep that promise. Oh no, I'm too smelly to start my shower. Can you start it for me? Oh no. I got home so late that now my wife won't tuck me into bed. Oh, for fuck's sake! It would... Alright, all set. Let's move. Okay, like, I, I get the joke, but, like, it's not funny after, like, all the shit that's gone on. Like, let's, let's just... Thank you so much, Shifter. Maybe now I won't lose my job. Right. Well, say hi to your scary boss for me. Haha, <laughs> I'm self-employed. <laughs> Understood. Prepare the facility. Government center, Neon Herilion. Okay, whatever. You kept me waiting in my swimsuit. My apologies, Mayor. I had to dig around to find the power supply we needed. You could have sent someone else. I like getting, I like getting my hands dirty. It keeps my mind stimulated. To tell the truth, I wanted to meet the Gravity Queen in person. She's something. The cat of hers was blowing out my equipment with the number was blowing out my equipment with the numbers I was getting off of it. If we had that cat, we'd have more than enough power. I'll have the jellyfish grab it. We haven't found Sasha, so we'll make. We'll have to make do with the Gravity Queen. Is Project C enemy? And. And Nimoni? I feel like I used to be able to know how to say that word. C enemy? Is it just enemy? On schedule? Not only is enemy demonstration ready, she's ready to see. see action. An enemy? You didn't watch Finding. I did, maybe that's where I know it from. Even Sea Boss would be no match for it. The Nevi are about to go extinct, and that's just the beginning. This, the new mayor, Danelica, had expanded the military in his power. His vision reached out and changed the lives of everyone in Hexville. I had no way of knowing that this vision extended even to me, and that the scientist I had trusted, Andre, was a big part of it. Do 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 do. Phew, I'm so exhausted. Why do I feel so tired? Meow. You too, Dusty. We should go home and get some sleep. Perpetual motion, cat. Break time? Are we really at four hours already? Almost, yeah. Hold on. Let's go talk to this person and then we'll take a break. 
Oh, it's him. Okay, I haven't seen you forever. I saw you coming out of the battleship. What are you thinking about enlisting? I'm not so sure it's a good idea. I know they're trying to protect the city. I don't like cooperating, but cat don't fall for their lies, huh? I submitted a bunch of paperwork to start a new business, and they red stamped it. They said it would corrupt the citizens tree. How could an ice cream corrupt anything? How could ice cream corrupt anything? Hmm, I'm gonna ignore him and set him a sta set it stand anyway. How strange! I don't understand why they try to stop you from selling ice cream either. Just try not to get in trouble, all right? Pasta has been a little on edge since they closed down his favorite place in Plejun. Oh, his favorite ice cream place? I think we might have to start beelining the main quest. I'm starting to get worried we're not going to finish today. I thought we had fuck around time. I thought we would comfortably finish today, but it looks like no. This is very important. What do you know about Merrick that we could use to make a Chan? What do you mean? Like a Chan for Merrick? Or you want to turn Merrick into a Chan? Because you can't turn Merrick into a Chan. Because... Merrick's already a waifu. You want to make a Chan for Merrick. I don't know. Merrick's completely unreadable. I have no idea. I mean, cat looks a little off. Dusty, do you say funny again? No, that's not it. What happened? Dusty used up eight of his nine lives. I have no idea, actually. Better let him rest. You don't want to push him too hard right now. Okay, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Who knew she... Who, who knew? She knew so much about animals. At least she doesn't charge for medical advice. Merrick is also very changeable. You know, like, I saw the receipt yesterday. Merrick was once a one guy who complained that I wasn't paying attention in Neerthamina. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? The Merrick we know today may not be there tomorrow. Completely different Merrick. <clears throat> Man, I'm sure that Joe's good enough at multitasking to both play the game and do chit-chat. He seems like the guy who would focus exclusively on the game the moment he notices he can't do both, but it's mildly infuriating when the game dumps exposition on or brings up central themes or puts a trope subversion on a silver platter and Joe's talking over it with completely unrelated commentary. To some extent, I'm sure that as an author, he's used to a lot of details and twists the game throws at its audience, but sometimes I can't help but think that some stuff is completely flying under his radar. For example, he saw the ending to the suicidal robot mini quest coming, but even at the end of the quest, I don't know if it helped him to pick up that purpose as is being one of the big themes of the game. Maybe a brief acknowledge I think I read that wrong, I'm sorry. Maybe a brief acknowledgement of what's going on in between chit chat would help with that. It's like watching someone skip through a game's intro or tutorial. They might pick up things just fine from there, but some parts of it you can't wait for them to call the but some part of Part of you can't. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong as well. But some part of you can't wait for them to call it a game of uh, a game of pile of confusing bullshit. I can understand. Okay, we won't read the whole thing. All right. You know what? You're not wrong, Merrick. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's part of the why the streams are bad. <laughs> you know what? I think, I think a Chan for Merrick would just have to be an earnest idea executed well. And I think Merrick would appreciate almost anything if it came from the heart. If a Chan came from the heart. I think that maybe, like, but then again, are you trying to make Chan, are you, are you trying to, like, get Merrick like Merrick got me with, with, uh, Mars Needs Senpai's the bunny girl sister? Are you trying to get that level? Or do you just want to make Merrick go, aww? Like, if you just want to make Merrick go, aww, I think anything earnest from the heart would do it. Like a, like a really, really good idea. I think he would appreciate it. A well-executed Chan. But if you want to make him like, oh my god, they got me, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Did he leave? <laughs> bunny girls or cat girls? I prefer bunny girls. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's here. Let's save it. Right, what costume do we want, chat? Do we want the military, the maid... The schoolgirl or the cat? Maid won the poll. Maid's probably the classic. All right. No, wait. Raven? Cyania? Huh? Where'd my clothes go? What the? Uh oh. You got greedy. You? There are consequences for overfeeding your cat. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> they grow up so fast. Are you a ghost? I thought you were dead. Well, my queen, you're late for the ball, and it's your going and it's going to be your last dance. <laughs> Dusty? Oh. Wait, what? Falling to pieces. Hmm, this is where I woke up in Hexville, and it restarts again. Meow. Dusty, wait, weren't you split up on a, into a bunch of parts? Dusty, what's going on with you? Ah, so this this location was carefully crafted in order to make it so you could jump from different angles. Okay, maybe not that carefully. Where are I trying to go to right now? Where's the cat? 
Oh, it's just right there. I think so my power's coming back. I better find the rest of Dusty. Do you ever watch Sopranos? I have not watched Sopranos, no. Maybe one day. My parents watch Sopranos, okay? Like, Raven, how can you be here? Are you an illusion? They were really mad at the ending. Zaza, I know you'll find your way back. Cyania, I hope you're using your power as a creator. Oh, okay. Ooh, new enemy. It's a cat. Panther? Okay, the shield means we can't hurt it, I guess. So is Atomic Heart officially replacing Forspoken or still in the air? I think it's officially um, replacing it, yeah. It's still weak, but I think my power's coming back. Maybe it'll keep growing if I keep re reassembling Dusty. Even if you find the rest of your cat, it won't matter. Alias, you'll never escape from here. My panther will see to that. Just wait till I get Dusty back together. We'll find a way out of here. Good, good. That's the spirit. I'll be waiting for you to give up in my swimsuit. Then it's going to be a long wait. I'll never let you in. Lamayo got him. Man, our number one fan really went all out this time. You're not finishing the Forspoken? Yeah, we are. It's after Forspoken. We're going to be playing Atomic Heart. Joe, have you ever played Nino Kuni? What do you think? No, I have not. Nino Kuni is boring as fuck. Aw, oh, Weaves must really want me to play it then. Can you give a summary of what's going on in the game so far? I missed the streams this week. Uh, we fell from the top of a tree into a world where the city is broken into pieces and something called gravity storms. Since then, a lot of people have just been showing up and telling us to do things, and we've just been doing them. First, we restored the city. Then we fell down the big tree to a place where a bunch of kids were, were missing. And then we came back up, and, and we learned that time flows differently at the bottom of the tree, and a year has passed, and now we're just doing more shit that people are telling us to do. And that's it. I don't know where this is going. I don't know what's going on. I have no fucking clue. Can I just make the argument that in Nino Kuni 2, you play as the President of the United States? You should play. I don't believe you. Joe, random question. Should I get sushi or burrito for dinner? Well, if you're in my chat, you're probably a weeb, so you probably want sushi. However, I had burrito today, so if you want to have burrito solidarity, get burrito. Can you improve your normal melee in this game? Is only guy news? You can improve it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that good. Like, the gravity kick was better at baseline than the kick was. Or, like, the normal melee was. Check pin. The two main protagonists are even Petty Whisker, Tildrum, a child and rightful heir of Ding Dong Dell, and Roland Crane, a president from an unnamed nation of Earth who is transmigrated to the world of Nino Kuni on, in a younger form of himself and becomes Evan's friend and loyal companion. Okay, so you're not like like the president just doing shit on Earth. Or how the hell does that work? That's so weird. You've convinced me we'll be burrito bros. Burrito bros. That's the last piece of Dusty. I think my power is back too. Meow. Huh? Dusty, something feels different about you. Well, whatever it is, we better work together to take out the panther and get out of here. That's weird though. Holy shit. Think Forspoken, but as the president. Oh, so Nino Kuni is like Forspoken. Okay. So chat thinks that Nino Kuni and Forspoken are like the same game. Okay. Whoa, it got loud. Wait, are we becoming the Panther? Cat is evolving. Do, 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 do. What just happened? That was amazing. I just couldn't let sleeping cats lie. Ah, you've performed. You've performed beyond my wildest expectations. But I don't. But don't think this is the end. Soon, all will be revealed. You, you. Oh, we don't get to see. Oh, was it the scientist? No way. There's no way he could have been an alias, right? That's just ridiculous. Ah. Wait, what? Ooh. Alias was back from the dead to haunt me, and Dusty had fallen to pieces. I still don't know what, what, if what happened was real or not, but Cyania's return was no dream. Oh, uh, hey, cat, where am I? Cyania couldn't tell me what happened to the Raven or the Ark. Um, I would have 
waited for her to fall asleep so the other her could awaken if I want answers. What? How? Oh, we just skipped over a thing because it took too long to show up. Okay. Old Nor. There will be an important announcement from Major Danelica. We are asking all citizens to gather there. Why does she sleep naked? You don't? Cyania, how can you always be so calm? I can't stop thinking about what's, what something bad's about to happen. I wish so, something good would happen for a change. Hmm, you're funny. Just think all the bad, that all bad things are good and nothing but good things will happen. What? That doesn't make any sense. You just have to go back into your mind and change the memories to make them better. Just try to imagine how you would do things differently and make it so that's what happened. Then all the bad things change to good things. Yeah, makes sense. Yep, tracks. I agree. But you can't change the past. You only get one shot at it. Everything you remember all uh, about the past is all in your head, right? That's Then that's all that matters. True! If you think something happened, then it did. True! But there's no proof that things happened the way they did. The other people who were with me at the time left things left behind. Well, if you discover a contradiction, you just have to go back to when you discovered it and con uncontradict it. That's nonsense. But then maybe if I thought the nonsense away, it would start to make sense. I only exist in the present, so if I imagine myself happy up until now, then I've always been happy, right? Ugh, I think my head is starting to hurt. Cat, just try it. Look into my eyes and discover your memories again for the first time. Wow, I'm having total deja vu here. I feel like I remembered something like this back when I first met you too. Talk to Cyania to revisit Butumi, the city at the edge of the world, to collect precious gems or complete the in challenge missions. What? What do you mean? Oh, is that to go back down to the bottom of the, uh, of the tree? Uh, I see. Okay. Oh, welcome. What's wrong? You feeling okay? Actually, I'm feeling a bit strange. My predictions are all over the place today, so I was thinking about closing up early. Aki's predictions are all are always all over the place. Oh, that's too bad. I was actually hoping to invite you out to me to get some fresh air for a change. Thanks for the offer, but I think it's best to stay inside right now. Oh, why is that? Something just feels wrong. How about we just stay and watch TV instead? I never picture for a couch potato. Hmm, it's not like you to worry. Okay, anyway, maybe next time. Hey, wait, don't. All right, this is worth, you know what? Let's just do the fucking main quest. I've had enough. It's gotta be the new area, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's just go. I was hoping to find more of those like vanishing people that were like, like out of sync with reality. But let's just go. The vanishing people are well hidden. What do you mean? Aren't they just like, aren't they just blue things on the map? So long and thanks for all the shitting. All right, let's just do this one. You don't get markers for vanishing people. Really? Oh, hey Shifter, you've done well. It's been a pleasure working with you. Huh, what's this about? Hey, don't take it personal. I thought you were great, but it sounds like we won't be needing your help anymore after today. Boy, someone's feeling self-important today. Okay, oh, okay then. Oh, that's it. I was finding them by accident. Oh. Gade, what are you trying to do here? Hey, is Cyania here too? The end is nigh. You ready for it? The end, what are you talking about? Call it creator's intuition by a sense of disturbance in the fabric of reality. If it, as if in many great things, we're moving toward the conclusion. Nice reference. It may be your last chance to go to the Rift Plains or to take care of other business. Something big is about to happen. Well, if you say so, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to make sure I'm prepared for whatever you're talking about. Hmm, do I have everything I need? That's up to you. Your fate is in your hands. Come to me when you're ready to begin the end. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Begin the mission. It's just, it's just says yes. Oh, I can press circle to cancel it. All right. So, like... We got every- we did everything there, we did everything here, we did everything here, we did everything here except for one- one conversation and one side quest. Like, we should probably just do it, right? Like, like, I know it's gonna- like, it's one thing, but then we can say we did it all, right? Like, we did it all. Like, what else are we gonna do today? Like, it's not like it's Steins Gate. There's gonna be a major big announcement today. The mayor himself is gonna make it. Yeah, that's what I heard. Everyone's heading to the clock tower to see it. Rumor has it the announcement is supposed to be about their big trump card against the Nevi. I hope it's true. I can't wait until the Nevi are gone. Then things can finally get back to normal. I don't know what the mayor's got up his sleeve, I, but I don't think getting but I don't think getting rid of the Nevi will be all that easy. All right, roll for Eric on the wheel. We could roll for Eric on the wheel. That's true. Eric has to win eventually, right? Like Eric has a great success chance of like uh, a great a great rate of of um being there for spins, but he's never gotten a win. So says Mr. Stewart. So you know eventually he's gonna have to right. The events that followed took place not long after joining the Jellyfish. I returned from the Special Forces headquarters, eager to get started on my next mission. Although we shared the same goal of protecting the city, I was not ready to accept some of the hard decisions ahead. I always like to think it was another way. Wait, wasn't there meant to be like part three of the um we joined that that gang uniform or uh, the gang? gang outfit like i don't know are you fully upgraded i'm fully upgraded where it matters yep didn't eric win the very first spin of the mall i don't think so didn't i don't think eric won did eric win no genshin did cat or er, sea cat here i'm here on the commander's orders sea cat you're late the operation is almost underway get up on the battleship bridge that's right yuri mentioned something about an important operation operation okay better get moving then come on dusty meow 
Oh, he oh no, what? that didn't count. Come on. That was just like, you can see, Cat, we don't have much time. I'll try to explain. The jellyfish have received orders straight from the top to proceed with a new plan to capture Nevi for research. And today's the day we carry out that plan. Capture Nevi, what are you going to do with them? Were those the orders that wounded that wounded soldier delivered? Sea cat, those soldiers are class those orders are classified. Keep your curiosity in check, soldier. I'm a cat, can't help it, but can a Nevi even be trapped? Our top secret research labs have developed a harvester that can attract and trap Nevi. The op this operation will also serve as a test for that technology. I'm afraid the plans for the Nevi after they've been captured are classified. They sure like their secrets. Just tell me this. Will this plan help keep Hexil safe? Of course. And you're a critical member of the operation. We need you to help escort the battleship to the destination and protect it while the harvester does his job. All right, I don't understand what this is all about, but I'll do what I can to help. Sea Cat, it's not a place to question orders. I'm so sorry. Sea Wasp, Sea Cat, man your positions. And the operation is to commence. Permit. How about woman our positions? Power, power checks, uh, power supply check. All stations ready. Charting the flight course now. Uh, oh, we're just, we're just here. All right. The Phantom of Bravery. Helps protect the city. I'll do my part. I'm doing my part. Stinger one to Jelly Mama. All's clear to starboard. Roger Stinger one. Maintain course to rendezvous. Name's not Roger. Gravitational anomaly detected. All soldiers to battle. Something. Jelly Mama, my controls aren't responding. I'm going down. Oh no. Oh no. Stinger one report. I'm going down. Click. What just happened? All communications with Stinger one just cut off. Commander, I'm getting some new information. There's an abnormal gravity field, and it's bigger than anything we've ever seen before. My god, the size of the ass, an abnormal gravity field? It's a Pixar mommy. That's what we were told to be on the lookout for. Does this mean? Yes, this is exactly what we've been waiting for. Permit, what's our distance with the rendezvous point? Hey, I hate to interrupt this, but a pilot just crashed. I'm going to check on him. Seacat, you're not authorized to leave your post. This mission takes priority. Wait, what? How does a mission take priority over someone's life? This mission is critical to the safety of this city. We've managed to protect the location of a Nevi outbreak, and we may not get another chance like this. Safety? What about the safety of your men? Is the mission worth their lives? This is nonsense. I'm not asking you to understand me. This mission is vital to Hexville's safety. I gave you an order. Maintain your station. I, I'm going to save that pilot. Seacat, return to your post. It's all going to work out, though. I mean, he crashed in the city. He'll be fine. It's not like we're beyond enemy line, uh, you know, behind enemy lines. Like, it'll be fine. I don't know if you know, but Dragon's Den is fucking wild right now. Why? What's going on? You're, you guys are couch posting? Why are you couch posting? Oh, Anu's here. All right. Balder won't have sex on couches. What? What do you mean? Wasn't Balder the one that said that he, that he, he wouldn't have sex on a bed either? Do not say that on street. Too late. He's oh, what do you mean he's right. Thank you, Orboy, for re for subscribing for the first time this minute. Clawfist, what a perfect time for subscribing. Thank you so much. All aboard. Joe, you thought this community needs basic life advice. It actually needs Jesus. <laughs> if we chantify Jesus, maybe they'll listen. Balder said no sex on a mattress unless there's plastic to protect it. You have to throw the mattress out of the way. Yeah, I remember this take. Yeah, I remember. Are you alright? It's wild. Yeah, I'll live. My head hurts, but I think it's just a mild concussion. The engine got damaged in the crash, and it's leaking fuel. That stuff is sensitive to changes in gravity, so don't shift gravity around here. You'll spark a chain reaction. A chain reaction? What am I supposed to do if I can't shift gravity? Just let me repair this leak. Once it's fixed, I can get, I can work on getting this thing back in the air. Alright, but try to hurry it up. Alright, so we did nothing. <laughs> Nevi, what wonderful timing. The leaking fuel must, attract the, must be attracting the Nevi. Sea Cat, keep those Nevi away from the ship while I get the leak under the control. Most of the fight without them using shifting gravity. I'll do what I can to buy you time, but you better hurry. Fuel is leaking for the- I get it! If you shift gravity, you might spark an explos explosive chain reaction big enough to kill both you and the pilot. Avoid using your gravity powers until the pilot can repair the leak. Oh, it won't let me! That's some bullshit. Why can't you just wash the sheets? Man, Balder definitely doesn't watch Jerma. Wait, how the fuck are you eating at a restaurant and not- and, and being fine with sending shit back? What do you mean? Is that a germ? Is that because Jeremy puked Oreos on his mother's bed reference? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No, it's a, his name is Jerma and Bald is a germaphobe reference. We have fucking Oreo on the bed story. What the fuck are you talking about? Jerma once ate an entire sleeve of Oreos. And is that is that impressive? Balder, Balder. Okay, listen. I feel bad that Balder's being picked on, so I will I will give you an out, Balder. Balder, you at least you at least know it's weird that you have a separate sex bed, right? Like you 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 will admit that it, that it's odd. Like you, this is your preference, but you know that it's not for everyone, right? 
It'd be weird if I did, thankfully. Okay, that's a big self-report that I'm not going to drill down on. I think if you know, you know, but all right, let's move past it. I can't believe you just said that. Dude's posting their own L's. All right, but, you know, in a perfect world, you... <laughs> world you would want to have one right and you know that's <laughs> you know that's weird right <laughs> ronald mcdonald yeah like if if ronald mcdonald showed up my house and said here i brought you a separate sex bed i would be like no i don't need it thank you like, no 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 it's free it's free and not not like I'll even set it up for you. I'm like, no, that, I don't want it. <laughs> see, see, can I fix, fix the leak? Phew, I wasn't sure how long I could build them up with my ship. Thank you for the assistance. Once I fix the rest of this thing, we can slow back to the fleet. This is under assist the operation. Wait, go back. But you already just left you to die. How are you going to go back to it? The commander is his reasons. Angels fish with their name would gladly lay down their lives for him. Beep. Huh? There's a report coming on the radio. Nevi side around the battleship. They're acting irregular. Get that harvester online. Harvester not responding. It's drawing power away from the primary systems. We're losing our engines. What? Why not? You can just sell- No, Ronald McDonald won't you sell it. He's only bringing the bed for, for you to use as a separate sex bed. If not, he's moving on to the next person. Until someone accepts it. For sale sex bed never used? <laughs> Beep. Fire confirmed on the outer hull. Repeat fire, fire on the outer hull. I'll take care of the fires. Wait, I'm getting reports that Nevi have appeared in the city. There's a massive outbreak in Plegium and they're requesting assistance. Sea Wasp, civilians come first, Project Plegium, but Commander. Sea Wasp, that's an order! The mission has been the mission has changed. The harvester is offline. Our first duty is to protect the people. Get over to Plegium. Yes, sir, heading to Plegium. This sounds bad. Fire is breaking out over the battleship and Nevi all over the Plegium. Sea Cat, you gotta help the battleship. Sea Wasp can only take care of Plegium. Uh I'll stay here and do what I can to get the ship in the air. Alright. Would you buy a used one? No, I wouldn't buy a used bed. This house came with a bed and we never used it. We threw it out. Fire is broken on the battleship. If the battleship's hull condition drops to zero, it'll go critical and crash into the city. Grab fire extinguishers from the battleship or water tanks around the city and throw them at the fires to put them out. After you had sex on it? No! No one used it for anything. I'm not I'm not seeing anything with the water tank. Where's the fire extinguishers? It burns, it burns. Beep. We're getting reports of fires breaking out in the Veta Center, Veta Center, the first battleship, now the city. Sea Cat, can get down to the city and put all those fires out. The civilians in the city come first. But I can't just let the battleship burn. Don't make me choose. I'll do whatever it takes to save you and the city. If you were staying at someone's house and they had a guest room and you were there with your significant other, if you don't have a significant other, then for the hypothetical, it's Ronald McDonald and he's there and he's your significant other. And also in the hypothetical, you're attracted to him, okay? So if, like, if, let, let's say, all right? If you're at someone if you're if you're at someone's house and you're in their guest room, okay? I think it's rude to have sex in their bed, in the guest bed, in the guest room. I think it's rude. I don't think you should have sex. If you're staying there for a long period of time, I think all right, at that point, yeah, it's fine. Physical intimacy, that sort of thing. It depends on the circumstances. But let, let's say that you're just there for like like you're there for like a Friday night, all right? Like that's it. Or, or just one day, once one night sleepover, I think it would be rude. You can ask? What the fuck can you ask? What do you mean? No, you can't. You can't ask. What do you mean you can ask? That's, that's even worse than just doing it and just not telling anyone that you did. You can't fucking ask. Okay, is, is there a marker again? Where the fuck are these things? All right, we're gonna lose. What if it's a bunk bed and the homeowners are below you? Well, at that point, it's an invitation and it'd be rude not to. I don't know what to do. I thought it was like the like the fire hydrants, but it's not. Water tanks? Oh, is it the, these barrels? No, I don't know what to do. All hands abandoned ship. What if it's a triple bunk bed and the owner's in the top top of the three bunks, but your grandma is in the middle bunk? Okay, where does Ronald McDonald fit into this? Please say hypothetically if i was to chop you up and put you in a meat grinder so we can complete the germ of oh for fuck's sake
All right, are there more? Are there more fire extinguishers? This is so annoying. I don't even know what I'm looking for. It wasn't that, it wasn't the wooden barrels. It wasn't the yellow tanks. I don't see any, I don't see any quest markers at all, anywhere. It's not here. All right, maybe it's around the fire? Is it, th these things are huge. Is it these? Oh my God, I didn't know I could pick those up. Those are gigantic. All right, let's go back and, and put the fire out on the on the battleship because that seems to be the one that that, uh, that matters. It was in the tutorial. Was there a picture of them, Chatter? Because like water tank to me didn't mean like that big a thing, bigger than anything we've ever picked up before. I thought it was gonna be a little a little water tank. It was okay. Well, I was too busy riffing with chat then. I don't even remember seeing a picture. Big ass picture. I literally do not remember seeing a picture, especially one with an arrow. But now it's it's definitely on me now instead of the game for sure. Oh, these little ones seem better. Okay. Assuming these even work. We're all in agreement it would be rude, right? To, like, if you're just, like, visiting briefly. By the way, no, what do you mean no? We're also in agreement that if you were, like, at your friend's house, like, for, like, j just a quick coffee, like, you're stopping in just for a quick coffee, and you're only there for about an hour, it would be it would be rude to, like, uh, like take a poop while you're there, right? You should wait until you get home. If you're only there for an hour. If you're there for a lot longer, then okay. Not at all, absolutely rude. Absolutely, it would be rude. Absolutely. When you got, if it's a, if it's an emergency, then yeah, okay, fine, obviously. But like, it's like, hmm, you know what? Maybe, I, maybe I could go. Not sure. Like, like no. Okay, I think if we do all the active fires, I think it will, uh, it'll, it'll end the quest. Where's the last active fire? It was up there. What are you, Joe? The pooping dictator? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I think it would be rude. I wouldn't mind if anyone did that, like, if they visited here. I just think it would be kind of rude to do that to someone else. Because I don't know if they're cool with it. I personally would be fine with it. If you're over at my house and you want to poop, I don't care. You can go poop. I'm fine with it. But I think, you know, like, I don't know any everyone else's pooping policy. It's completely normal. So you think it's fine to have sex in the bed while you're, while you're visiting then? Like a quick visit? That's the last of the fires. Now it's just the Nevi. I don't care if the government wants to capture them. I can't let them run around and destroy the city. Meow. Oh, great. Now we have to do fighting. Joseph Anderson. So X is wrong, but Y is okay. Do you, chat, do you understand? F f sorry, Paltheos. Do you understand the basics of fucking comparison and conversation? Just because I'm comparing two things doesn't mean I'm making a fucking qualitative concrete fucking like fucking hammer in the sand. This is the judgment. It's moving the conversation forward. It's not like, oh my God. No, 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 no. If, if X is fine, Y must be fine too. No, it's seeing if you agree or disagree. My children make better conversationalists and can follow fucking deductions more better than this. Your silence about Z is very telling, by the way. Paltheos, known, Steins Gate, enjoy. You, true, true. I, I, I instantly believe it. You can stop yourself from having sex. You can't stop yourself from having the poop. Okay. Sometimes you can get pretty desperate, okay? Listen, I already said, part of the hypothetical was that if you're desperate, you need to go. And you really need to go? Okay, fine. Carte blanche, all right? There you go, you're good. It specifically was, and I said this so particularly, it's like, you know what? Maybe I have to go. Maybe I should go try. I think if it, if you're like not sure, you should wait till you get home. Sea cat, you dissipate a direct order. The city was your priority. Soldiers must be willing to make sacrifices. Sacrifices, you act like a soldier's life doesn't mean anything. Go try it. What are you eight years old? What, what, what do you mean? Wait, what, what, as an, as an adult, are you all never like losing the poop gambit? What are you talking about? False alarms are a regular thing. No, what do you mean? Honestly, Joe deserves everything he gets to stream after he forced me into a hypothetical where I'm banging Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Would you pop in a restaurant? If I if it's desperate, yes. If not, I wait until I get home. Joe, I'm begging you to eat more fiber. I have no problems with fiber. I'm just talking about like, have you ever like thought you go into the bathroom and you sit down and it was just, you know, elephant saxophone. <laughs> it's instead of, you know, like Ronald McDonald depositing a chicken nugget. What do you mean? No, this is a common human experience. You what? You're all lying. There's no way this has to happen to you like a couple times a year at least. You're telling me you people in chat have a 100% success rate on going to the bathroom and being like, I think I need to poop, go upstairs, and then yes, the poop is here. 100% hit rate. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. 
Literally, yes, as an adult. I don't believe you. I, d I don't even believe 99%. There's no fucking way. Sometimes it's a fart. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah. Do you just miss the toilet sometimes? Like, you don't know where- Baldi, you don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. We're not talking about, like, fucking getting the plane in for landing. We're not talking about, oh, parachuting, pulling in at the, the cord at the right time and getting it in the fucking water. We're talking about when you when you sat down the toilet, did you actually have a deposit to make? Or was it just elephant saxophone? Like, that's, that's it. You don't even know what we're talking about. Go fucking change your fucking sex bed. Go get your fucking plastic wrap on your fucking bed, love. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Sacrifice, you act like you don't mean Thing. Even the pilot you abandoned was fired up in your journey. You know what? I'm just skipping through this. I don't give a shit now. Let's just get the fucking game done. You might want to talk to your doctor. It's not- what do you mean? It's normal that every once in a while, you think you have to go to the bathroom, and instead of risking, like, blowing out elephant sacks and being wrong, just go upstairs and go to the bathroom, sit down- Oh, I guess I was wrong. Oh, well, while I'm here, I'll brush my teeth. Like, what- what the fuck? I retired from my, my uniform and left the jellyfish. In- in the zeal of protecting life, they lost sight of its meaning. Although, I may have done- been done with Yuri, Unica, and the other jellyfish, they were not yet done with me, but that's another story for another time. Go to the doctor with that, he's gonna look at me like I'm an idiot for coming in and wasting his time. He's gonna be like, oh, that's just a completely normal thing. Yeah, I know, thank you. I have a 99% success rate, but that's because I wait until I know I have to poop in order to poop. What the fuck does that mean? Every time you poop, it's an emergency? Gade, what are you doing here? Hey, is Sunny here too? I need to go poop. Hey, the end is nigh. Are you ready for it? The end, what are you talking about? Call it creator's intuition, but yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boy, cat, ice cream cone for the road. Oh, you opened it up. What's with the crowd? What's going on today? Mayor Del Danelica is about to. I, I I find this name so hard to pronounce. About to make his big announcement. Everyone's here to listen. So today's the day I finally make my big score. This cone's on the house, or some say on the hoose. Oh, they are watching TV. Oh, nice. It's all coming together. Andre? Cat, do you know that man? He is Nelika's right-hand man. I've heard nothing but bad things about him. Who? Andre? Don't be silly. You must be thinking of someone else. Beloved citizens, it is me, evil Andre. Cat looks pretty cute there. You are gathered here today to, to bear witness to history. Today is the day we rid ourselves of the Nebi Menace once and for all. Join me in welcoming our new savior. I wait until the point where after I fart, the gut still feels full, so I know there's something solid in there. Okay, th this this is your champion chat. 99% plus hitters. This 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 is the side you're on. This behavior, this behavior, th th this is your champion. This is what you're claiming you do too. You know what? Maybe I'm not gonna release the Witcher 3 video this year on purpose. You know what? I think we need to wipe the slate clean. What the heck is that? Their new toy, apparently. Emergency, incoming Nevi. This way, quick, no pushing. Woman and children first. Hmm, <laughs> perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Gate, I'll be right back. Cat, something not right. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate the awesome offensive capabilities of the latest in military technology. The sea and an enemy. Is everything ready? Here, see for yourself. <laughs> An enemy, mop up that nevi gar mop that nevi garbage up. Uh oh. Oh, it's just a thing with guns. An unguarded moment. Defeat the nevi. My butt is an excellent alarm clock. That weapon took out all those ne the, those nevi so fast. It really didn't though. Like it's, it kind of sucks. How do they make the an enemy so powerful? If it's so powerful, I don't need to do anything, do I? You know what? It's probably set at a timer that every time I kill something, it starts killing something too. Bro, I hate the swordfish fucks. Yeah, they're the most annoying enemy, I think. I'm curious what your ratio is. What percentage on the time do you, do you, you know, poop? And what percentage you just fart? I don't know the percentage. 
I just know it's not 100%. It's a pretty high hit rate. Shifter, you are under... I, I don't keep track. Shifter, you are under arrest. Provision 113 on the Anti-Nevi Act. Resistance would be unwise. I'm um, what? You're arresting me at a time like this? The sea and enemy can handle the Nevi. Your assistance is no longer required. We don't need your kind of troubles around our city. I will protect Hexville now. But we did a quest together. But what did I do that warrants arrest? Aren't there more important things to deal with? We have to work together to save the city. Orders are orders. Surrender quietly. There's no need for this to get violent unless you plan on resisting arrest. Well, aren't you a model soldier? Obeying orders at, at any cost because it's easier than thinking for yourself. Hmm. 85%? I would say it's higher than 85%. Orders are- orders, orders, orders. Do you always just do whatever your commander says? I thought he was better than some two-bit yes man who does whatever the mayor asks. Eunuch, think about it. If he doesn't need me anymore, what's going to happen if, to you when it's your turn? Stop talking. No. Then I'll make you stop. What if you take your dog to a friend house and he pooped? Then I would- I, like, I would be upset because I'm like, why did you invite me over if you were just gonna spend the whole time pooping? Why are we fight- this seems dumb to fight this person. Alright, this should just- we should just win now, right? No? Ugh. This was the most poorly timed alt of all time. Shifter, why don't we come quietly? It'd be easier for both of us. I'll decide what's best for me. I'm not going to go quietly, so if you want to arrest me, come and get me. Fine, I didn't want to have to do to use this, but it seems you leave me no choice. That wasn't French. Oh, I thought they were active. Oh, they were! Okay. No! What the f- Looks like I'm a little tougher than you thought. Maybe you should run back to your commander and request some new orders. I'm tired of you insulting the military and I'm done taking it easy on you. Engaging safety override. Pulse response and regulator in sync. Output increased to 121%. It sounds to me like you don't have the patience to know when you actually have to be- Chatter, you count your farts until you think you're ready to go, okay? I'm not gonna get lectured by you, alright? Go play Shadow of the Colossus some more. Jesus. Pull out my fart journal. Hmm, that was a big one. I must be getting close to ready. Don't wanna lose my 100% success rate. Someone on stream might ask me one day. Ooh, finisher. Alright, is this last boss? Oh, shit. Raven has to come back, right? Do Americans really shit your pants? You know what? That's a good point. Okay, everyone in chat who's claiming they have a 100% success rate with whenever they think they need to do a number two and they go, they do it. I will accept that you're telling the truth if you also concede that, you know, 10% of the time, you shit your pants. Because <laughs> then, all right, th that makes sense. All right, you know what? Okay, N now I believe you. Oh no, it was a trap! How do you function as an adult with less than 100% success rate? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean function as an adult? What do you mean? Every so often, I don't know how often, I go to the bathroom, thinking I have to go, sit down, and I don't, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I get up and I go along around my day! What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? How, how, how is this preventing me from being an adult? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, we all frozen. What the hell is that? Mission accomplished. Uh oh, we're gonna shatter. Cat, talk to me. No. What? You just committed an act of treason, officer. Is she missing an arm, by the way? Or is this like uh, something that goes over her arm? Or is it a prosthetic? It seems like it's a little too... Most of her arm is taken up by this, but maybe. What are you doing? Where are you taking Cat? 
My orders come straight from the top. It's not our place to question our superiors. Stop fooling yourself. You say you're here to stop the Nevi, but what are you, what are you really after? Oh no! <laughs> hey Pops, that thing's acting funny, hmm? Commander, something's wrong with the anemone. What? Music there? Hang in there, cat. I'll think of. <laughs> you'd, risk, you'd risk disrupting fate? You. I hate to interfere, but I must protect the dream. Guardian, fulfill your role. I release you so that you may free the shifter. Lolling. You too are but a figment of the dream, and you must fulfill your role as well. Alright. The writer needed something to happen here. No rest for the virtuous. Alright, is this the last episode? Shifter, how did you surprise to see me? It helps to have friends in high places. What's your super weapon doing to, to the city? And why is it just you out there fighting it? Where's Yuri? Where's the army? The battleship was destroyed and the chain of, like, that's the only battleship they have. And the chain of command is broken. It's up to me to stop an enemy. Oh, it's an enemy now! It's the, an, an enemy, an enemy! Well, it looks like it's doing a bang up job of handling the Navy and protecting Hexville. I better get up there and stop it. Shifter, halt. This is a military operation. You'd just be getting in the way. I'll. Ah, Unica, you're wounded. Quickly, let me gravity rush you over to a fucking hospital. If I root power to the repair systems, I'll be fine. I'm the only one left to preserve the military's honor. Think of the city before your stupid honor. This isn't the time to be drawing lines for, in the sand. Decide who can or can't help. This talking is a free action. Cat, wait. An enemy. Inside, it's. It's Raven. All right, how do I hit it harder? <gasps> it's a Nevi inside. Cat, aim for the exposed core. Ugh, Unica. Oh, she's dead. Damage to Hexville. A military super weapon is out of control and destroying Hexville. Each attack against the city raises its destruction level. Once the level reaches 100, Hexville will be lost forever. All right, I hope we don't have to like do like fucking like fire extinguishers though. Oh, this is poorly judged. Right, two more. One more. Phase two. Ooh, now there's more weak points. Humph, they try to build weapons using Nevi as power sources. Arrogant fools, as if they could control that kind of power. I mean, why wouldn't you try? Mayor, wait. Just give the word and I can engage the emergency override. Everything I've worked on depends on the anemone. It would be a small sacrifice to make for the greater good. What? How could you make that monster? Did you really think you control the Nevi? Uh oh. This is kind of an annoying boss. Wait for it to stop moving so you can aim your kick properly is a, a choice. For fuck's sake. Alright. Oh no! Oh no! Quick, get a health! Oh, well, we're dead. Where'd that thing come from? Did he spawn it?
If you give bad, if you get bad service at a restaurant, how big is the tip? Fuck you. We're finishing this game today. What do I do? Oh, gems. All right, gems is underneath. I can't get the gems. Cat, tear a hole in space time. This will be my final act of interference with the dream. Cyania, she loves interfering. Cat, over here, use your power on me. Loves interfering. Oh, you mean blind? We have to wait. Finish on Gade. All right, here we go. Yeah! Did they explain where Raven is? Uh, surprisingly, no. I don't. Where's this going? Oh, there they are. Okay. An enemy is not responding. We have no choice. We must engage the override. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but necessary. An enemy will take uh, will take Venice Center out when it when it blows. It's a little early, but consider the population reduction plan to now be in effect. What? Here's an override switch, Mayor. You might want to give the, give want to at least give them a running start. Below people of Hexville, calmly evacuate the area. An enemy self destruct sequence has been activated. Nelica, how could he? What is he doing? They'll never make it away in time. Nelica has just signed their death sentence. Oh no, it's still going. All according to Kotaku. Repairs complete. Sea Wasp returning to active duty. Reporting for duty. Unica. The Navy's absorbed an, an enemy's weapon system. It's too dangerous to get close now. Leave that to me. Just buy some time. Unica, Raven, let's take it down. This is like a, a bunch of kids like LARPing in the school uh, in the, the schoolyard. No, you didn't know that. Like my version of Sonic is even faster than all the rest of the versions of Sonic, so you can't catch me. Oh boy, he's finally playing Gravity Rush, the game I voted for, campaign campaign for in the voting game. Hope it's a good playthrough. Wait, what is he talking about? Wait, what is chat saying? Okay, can I can I hit him when he's like this? I guess. Joe can't. Oh, I can. I Joe can't. I wasn't. I didn't even see the text chatter. Sorry. So I can hit a couple times and then move on. to hit it cat now you only get one chance do it unica raven leave it to me press triangle
Oh, we killed them! Oh, damn. Remember when they introduced the underling of the main villain in like a weird kind of jokey, like keep doing a bunch of fetch quests for me? And we didn't have a single scene where we interacted with the main villain? This is all over the place, man. This was a game. Mayor hospitalized. I'm not sure they've been asleep ever since they entered the Ark. Huh. Okay, that's weird. A after coming all this way, I wish there was a way we could wake them. It's my fault. There may have been uh, another way to bring them back. No, there wasn't. The Ark will guard the children until it is their time to rise. The begins of the dream are coming together to return to the light of the world. You! Aw, oh, sequel bait. Alright. That's what someone told me in a dream to tell someone in a dream told me to tell you anyway. Hmm hmm. Stomach shot. Oi. Oi, governor. Cat up for some ice cream. We never found that missing kid! Cat or Raven? Believe it or not, I'm on Team Raven. Uh-oh. What? No, the shifter couldn't possibly be. Wait, who was under the alias mask? Commander, you should be in bed. Everything is under control. Even the soldiers need their rest. Perhaps so, but this is but the calm before the storm, after all. Pardon? And a harbinger of destruction shall descend from on high. What? The Ark had completed its journey, and the city in the clouds was returning to normal. There were no more Nevi sightings, and the threat seemed to finally be over. As I waited for the lost tribe of children to awaken, I tried my best to enjoy the, a brief moment of peace. But peace is often fleeting, and some and some fights never end. I love ice cream, man. Ice cream is so good. Soft serve ice cream is so good. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. By the way, the lyrics of the song are about how you're going to die, going to die, so enjoy life while you can. Oh, that's nice! Oh, now we get a health upgrade. Huh, I thought that, like, the out of sync with reality people was gonna be, like, a big plot point. This went nowhere! What the fuck was this? Th this- th th what? I, don't, I I thought there was gonna be some big grand reveal about how, like, this- things that you thought, it's not all it seemed to be. And then it seems like they were going that route, but like, lol, it's in the sequel. I don't- I don't understand. This was like a whole load of nothing. Like, I kept waiting for it to like, get past the hee hee, we're all in funny games in the city phase. And then we're dropping down the tree and it seemed to be getting there, and then it didn't. We just came back up and did more of that. I don't understand. Like, the movement- the movement system is really good. I really enjoy the movement system, it's pretty fun. It's cool. This- this- it feels good, the game feels really good, especially. Um, moving around, it's- it's like, it, it becomes intuitive, which I'm surprised. Like, it's really fun. The combat sucked. There wasn't a single good boss fight in the game. Some of the, the challenges were the best part. They should have had more races. The races were by far the best part. Making you move the, use the movement system. Why wasn't that part of the game instead of like like combat and bosses? It's so weird. So yeah, like I don't know. Like I don't I don't think this is even a six out of ten. I think this is probably a five. I think it's a five with like a really like the movement system is really good, but the rest of it can't make up for it. The story was just a whole load of nothing. I can't believe it. Sony tampering messed with the ending of the game. It was meant to be a PS3 game, but Sony wanted on the Vita, so the game had to end earlier than they wanted because the Vita hardware wasn't good. Uh, yeah, okay, keep coping, fucking weebs, yeah. If, if only my my beloved weeb game developer had the total freedom, it's the fucking executives ruined it. Alright, sure, whatever. So lower than Forspoken? Oh, I mean, it's I think it's Forspoken tier. Nah, that's not fair. The movement system in this is way better than Forspoken. Like, the combat and the story and everything in this are as bad as Forspoken, but the movement system in this is better than Forspoken, and Forspoken's movement system is actually kind of fun. I would I would give this, like, like a cat hair above Forspoken so far, but maybe Forspoken's gonna get there. Game just ended. 
I feel like the world is really interesting, but it literally goes nowhere. Uh, I think the world has the potential to be interesting. Like, the setup that happened here and everything, like, it could have been interesting. I thought it was good. I thought something really important was going to happen to the bottom of the tree. And instead it was just like, oh, remember that throwaway line about the kids on the bus? Here they are. And then nothing else happened after that. You have to play Gravity Rush before the storm now. <sighs> All right, let's try Gravity Rush 2. Let's see how much better it looks. Or only play for like five minutes. Unless it, if it has a story, we're gonna skip the intro. Let's see how, how much better it looks. But next stream we're playing tomorrow we're playing Forspoken, and on Tuesday we're playing um we're playing uh We're playing 13 Sentinels Y. I wanna skip. Okay, so we're Rex. All right, so this is already more interesting. <laughs> okay, it's not a cage. This is just a platform. We're on a crane. What cage? All right. So all of my ratings usually start at a six and then I kind of tweak, so I can't skip the cutscene, so it's already down to a five. See if you can win me over, game. Oh, oh. Oh, no. No, 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 really? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, uh, is it coming through on the stream? Do you all know? Yeah, the fucking 30 frames per second. No PS5. Okay, great. All right, awesome. Flying is going to feel awful at 30 frames per second. Is this even 30? It feels like fucking 20. You know what? Let me Ryan Gosling it. 22 to be precise. Whoa. All right, this looks cool. Is my attention span span shot, or is this terrible? It's that was really slow. That elevator ride took so long. Oh, it's first person now. All right, this looks pretty good. Probably the hundredth person to ask, but do you plan on playing Resident Evil 4? Uh, you're the second person to ask today. Uh, not many people have asked that actually, but yeah, we're gonna play it after 13 Sentinels, I think. Okay, I was hoping to just jump in and be cat and and fucking just like start zooming around, but apparently we have to like like come in here and find her in a pile of goo, and she's gonna be strategically naked, and then we're gonna be like, oh my god, we found her, and then we're gonna cut over to being her. <sighs> so this is the power of PlayStation Five. Six frames for every console entry. Okay, Gravity Rush 2 players, like, are we, are we gonna get, like, anything in the next two minutes, or no? Because I don't mind slow openings, but, like, I just, like, are we wasting time right now? Alright, here we go, alright, here we go. What the hell's that? It's the Ark? So this is the power of Gravity Rush without executive meddling. <laughs> I'm naked under here. New costume! Are they still speaking the nonsense language? That kind of sounded a little bit like Japanese to me. Yeah, are they? Oh, okay. Right, she looks exactly the same. Huh? 
Why don't you have shoes? Oh, I know why. Never mind. Alright, this looks ten times better. Pretty cool visuals, actually. I, I, I dig it. It's pretty good. I'm not sure about these color-coordinated outfits they're wearing, but, you know, definitely a couple. This is Brad Pitt. Wait, is this Sid? Sid, the path's out. There you go. My legs are done. Who the hell's Lisa? Oh, hello, Lisa. All right, I'm on Team Lisa. All right. Oh, holy shit. All right. Lisa playable? Next. Okay, I, do, I just... I want to just fucking... Like, I want to gravity rush around, please. Just let me gravity rush, please. I just want to see how it feels. <gasps> we can skip now. Nice. Banga settlement. Bangarang? Let me gravity rush. You have no dusty dusty for a bit? Alright, well, we've looked at the game. It's a huge visual upgrade. I think it's going to be much better than Gravity Rush 1. And if not, we'll just, you know, pull the emergency cord and talk about poop some more, okay? There we go. So that's it. That's it. Alright? So, for most of you watching, for most of you watching, this will be the next stream, okay? Oh, the music's pretty good, too. It's 13 Sentinels, okay? All right, let's just go to the main menu. We'll end it there. Bookend. Let you already say- Again? How many times are we gonna do this bit? Watch the intro, it's really short. And we already saw the intro. We did it already. She she weirdly like had to rub her thigh to get into the robot. Let's watch it again. Fuck it, we'll watch it again. Here we go. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Cho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Oh good, Merrick, Merrick, watch this shit, okay? Here we go! Watch what she does here! Look, look at this practice movement! Alright, oh no, Kaiju is attacking the city, you know what I'm gonna do? Time to lift up my skirt. Oh, oh! What the fuck is this shit? You all have implants on you and you have to rub the implant. We put all of them up for the boys. It's on their wrist or their face or their ear so they can look cool like secret agents. But for the girls, it's in your thigh or it's on your chest or it's on your stomach or something like... Really Why do we do this? Eh, fuck it. That's how it had to be. It's how, it's how it morphed in my head. And I can't change the story. I'm just the writer. I'm just the channel. Like in that movie. Say the line, Iori. Am I inside the robot? <laughs> Wait, number 15? Burger King foot lettuce? She, there's more than 13 Sentinels. She's number 15. It's already, we're already at 15 Sentinels. I'm sorry. Was 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 that the joke? There's not 13 Sentinels. There's actually there's actually more than fucking 13. There's 15, 16, 17, 18. This is fucking number 15. <laughs> 13 is their age. <laughs> All right, say the line, Yuri. wondering that myself all right fuck this this is gonna be a fucking train wreck this is gonna be a fucking train wreck all right 
<laughs> all right let's see you all on tuesday for whatever the fuck this is gonna be how the fuck did you think this was gonna go well weebs weebs gambit declined holy shit <laughs> we're the first scene and someone's already in the wrong sentinel it's fucking sentinel number 15 it's the fucking 13 sentinels on the fucking cover she's on the cover is this fucking like scream one does she die right now like like what, what, the, what even then it's already above the, i was told there wasn't 14 sentinels now there is no yeah you're right there's no 14 sentinel oh <laughs> it's number 15 joe the 15th sentinel watch out for her she's just like getting clothes on the rest of them have clothes on not her though she's just always naked all the time also she's the one that's lift up her fucking skirt to get her fucking whatever transport thing to go in the thing everyone else just climbs in like a normal person anyway see you tomorrow for forespoken if you're here for that one if not i'll see you on tuesday for 13 sentinels one more line okay senpai are you like Akun too did you come from the future <laughs> <laughs> this is the first scene this is the scene comes from the future wants to know why you're in the wrong sentinel still calling him senpai fuck it i'm out see you later holy shit oh man fucking hell fucking hell fucking hell fucking hell fucking